Frog Detective 1, The Haunted Island. This is the sort of visuals, this is the sort of high resolution visual style we're gonna be playing with in Haunted Island, the frog game. That's me, the frog. Cursed? You guys are gonna like this game. New game. Start the new game? Yup. I'm not gonna explain this game because obviously uh, I don't know much about it either, to be honest. That's a, that's a picture of me at my fish party that I had over the weekend chat. Look, I solved the mystery of what's up with the crab. It was one of the greatest moments of my entire career chat. What's up with the crab uh, on the drums? And there was a lot up with the crab on the drums. <clears throat> Hello, who is it? It's the supervisor. Hi, supervisor. Hang on, I gotta turn down the game a tiny bit. It's just a, it's just a touch so loud it's actually killing me. So um, I'm gonna need to open up my mixer for a second. Just turn this down. Chat, this is like, you guys can like self-insert yourselves into this game. Now think about it, there's a frog on Twitch. The super, there's a frog on Twitch. There's a frog in this game. It's perfect. Hi, supervisor. Hey, how's life? Chat, we're not actually getting a detective job today. We're actually just having a good, high-quality conversation with our boss, the supervisor. Pretty good, I reckon. How are things with you? Me and the wife just got back from Indonesia. Ah, well, Salamat datang Kembali. That means welcome back, I think. Do does it? Wait. Dude, he's so worldly. Thanks. Anyway, what are you calling about? All oh, right. I have a case for you. Cool. This is so, the writing is so, I'm at like weir weirdly casual. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Epic. Rad. It's a pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. I'm holding on. There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his day. He says he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. So get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. What's a ghost scientist? I don't know. Anyway, he hires some of them, right? And they can't find anything. They've been on the island for two weeks now. Whoa! The ghost is still at large. So the head scientist there, a monkey, calls me up. They need help. And they want the greatest investigator I have. Oh my god. That's me. Chat, that's me. I'm the greatest detective he has. That's us, chat. That's us. Imagine that. So I said to them, I'll send my best investigator. That's us. But Lobster Cop wasn't available. Uh oh. <laughs> Alright. Well. So I'm asking you, the second best investigator. Chat, where's number two, dude? That's silver medal. That's a, Chet, that's the silver medal. That's not bad. I'll take it. Still good. Second ain't bad. And maybe, like, it's a really close second. Like, almost number one. But, like, it could be either one of us any day. We'll never know, because Lobster Cop isn't around to prove anything otherwise. So we're, like, essentially number one. You know? Someone just said first loser. <laughs> shut, shut up! You're, you're put, I have to sneeze now! Hey. Reading that mean message impulsively made me sneeze. Like, reading it made me just uncomfortable enough that my body decided to sneeze. It was really weird. So I'm asking you, the second best investigator. I understand. Lobster cop's abilities far outweigh my own. <laughs> Dude, stand up for yourself. What the fuck? I, don't let him just, don't just be like, yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> I'm one of the worst in the entire team. Yeah, but you're pretty good. You're pretty good. So are you up for it? I don't know, it sounds very scary. I I'll have to be very brave. I believe in you, detective. That's just what I needed to hear. Thank you, supervisor. I'll do it. 
<clears throat> I really need to get into character to say this line. Wahoo. Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure thing. The basics are, there's a sloth who's hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around his island. He calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're stumped. It's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Why did you yell the haunted island like that? Because that's the title of the case. Okay. It's time for you to grab your magnifying glass and get going. Okay, bye, supervisor. Good luck. Thanks. Wow, chat. And just like that, our big mission is underway. Let me grab my special magnifying glass. Ah, yes, my trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve mysteries without it. Now I can right click to see things up close. Oh my god, chat. We can see like, we could see germs on the ground with this thing. Look at how high power this fucking thing is. Look at this, look at this, watch this. Unbelievable. Oh my god. Look at the sort of things we can discover now. All right, well, let's chat. It's time. Are you guys ready? We're going on. We're going to the haunted island. Allegedly haunted. <laughs> Remember, it's just, it's just allegedly currently. Time to solve a mystery. Look at that fucking walk. Oh my god. Look at that power stance. Look at that. Look at that sit. That pose. This is a strong detective. Good music. Ooh. Ooh. Starring the detective, Martin. All right, so that's Martin. Larry. Wait, Larry? Mo the Mouse Mouse. I love him. Bernie. Oh my God, Bernie's in this one. Fresh X. He's my favorite character. And the rest. Case one, The Haunted Island. All right. The rest are here. Well, here we are, on the island. I don't like there being another lobster. I'm already intimate. I already have a, like a fucking, you know, inferiority complex for Larry. I mean, lobster cop. I don't know if I want fucking, I, th I feel like I gotta go talk to Larry and like make sure that he and I are cool. Even before I start talking to like, note guy here who honestly, Looking at their notes so far, hmm, maybe a man in a suit. I feel like I'm not gaining much from be having them being the first person I talk to. It looks like we get a scope of the area. Um, uh, there's a koala drowning over there uh, in like two inches of water. Um, got like a, a happy starfish here. Very good. This is one of my favorites so far. Uh, let's just look, let's just go like one person at a time, all right? Let's talk to Larry, I guess and figure out what's going on on the island. Ha! It's me, Larry. Ha I did not do it. <coughs> I, huh? The noises are not coming from me. I didn't, I, Larry, did not make these spooky noises. I haven't even heard any of the noises yet, but if you say so. That's like more suspicious somehow. What? Are you even listening to me? I said I didn't make the noises. No, I heard, I just, I don't like being accused like this. Uh, I'm not accusing you. Oh, you're not? That's such a relief. <clears throat> this, was a this was a bad first person to talk to. I feel like we're moving too quickly. <clears throat> All right, let's get back on the, let's get back, let's get this ball back in my court, all right? 
Can I? Are you gonna ask me some questions? I don't think I. I think he's stolen the guys. He stole the basketball. <laughs> he's just carrying it around. He's not even dribbling it. He's not even dribbling the ball. He's just fucking running away with it. He's grabbed the wheel. Are you gonna ask me some questions? Ask me them. Oh, the questions are mean. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to ask you about the noises. What can you tell me about the noise? Firstly, I'm not the one making them. Yep. Okay. But I know where they're coming from. Ah! Uh -huh. Ah! Uh -huh. What? They're coming from the cave in the forest. Why haven't you told anyone? Nobody listens to me. They say stuff like, Well, Larry, if you won't listen to us, we won't listen to you. Which is so weird, because I do listen. Maybe they mean, I'm a really good listener, understand? So how do we get into the cave? Well, I need a few things. To get through there, you'll need some sort of explosive device. I am here as a detective. I am... I feel like I, I picked the wrong guy to talk to first. He wants to make a bomb. He want you want to make a bomb on the island to blow open a cave door. And I I just got here like two minutes ago, and he wants to make a bomb. <laughs> um, is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, detective. None of this is safe. I I understand, Larry. You and I are actually on the same page for one moment. You're the first realist to talk to me so far. We should destroy the ghost with a bomb. He's right. Anyway, I'll need a few things. I looked up an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need toothpaste, all right? Some wool, okay? A chunk of pure gold, okay? And some pasta. Pasta, pasta, okay. Oh, so the normal explosive ingredients then. Just a standard explosive recipe. Yes, if you want to get into that cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. Ask me them, the questions then. I don't have any more questions for you, nothing. We're done. You and me are, you and me are done. I'm good, thanks. I don't trust Larry. As far as I can throw him, chat. Something about him knowing how to make a bomb so casually. There's something off about him. Maybe it's that dead smile. Maybe it's something about that, those grotesque eyes that freaks me out. There's something I do not trust about him. I certainly do not. Wait, is that pasta? Oh shit, that's pasta. Yum, but it's not mine. Oh, I need to like, oh my fucking God, that's his pasta. All right, well, I'm not getting that yet. Man, I can't believe we have all the ingredients to make a bomb right on the island. Let's go talk to the fucking happy like monkey first, I guess. Ah, you finally made it. Thanks for coming on such short notice. I heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. Wow, that's very kind of you. When you figured out who was behind the forest left in which town, I couldn't believe it. I thought nobody would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? Oh, you've been following my blog posts? Yeah, I'm Mystery Monkey 49 I comment all the time. Oh my god, I have a fan. I even made a funny joke once and you responded. Of course I remember. Hi, Mystery Monkey 49. He doesn't remember. Chat, this is like the same fucking thing I do if one of you guys said hi. Like I, when you meet me at a convention, you say like, hi, I made a really funny joke and you responded to it once in Twitch chat. He's not gonna remember because I don't remember. All right, I'm gonna be honest. I'm being realistic. He doesn't fucking remember. At all. He has no idea who this is. He's freaked out. Like, those dead eyes are the eyes of someone who wants to get out. He's looking at who he can talk to behind this guy right now, all right? Is what's happening. He's, like, looking behind him, and he's like, I wonder if I just start a conversation while this guy's standing in front of me, if he'll get confused and just leave without me having to respond again. Is what he's thinking. That's what he's trying to do. Like, he'll say, like, oh, hey, Larry. Like, Larry will come over here. Ah, I didn't say anything. Larry! And then the monkey will just sort of, like, walk away. Hopefully into the ocean. Never to return. Okay, well. Please, Mystery Monkey 49 is my online name. You could just call me Mystery Monkey. Of course. Can I ask you some questions about the case? Questions, yes. What would you like to know? Uh, the resident. Where's the guy who runs the island? 
May I ask who the resident of this island is? Ah, that'd be Martin. You can find him hiding in the forest. He thinks the ghost can't catch him there. Mm, very interesting. I'll investigate. What else would you like to know? Where to start? Where should I begin my case? My case after I talked to... I, mo I made the mistake of talking to Larry uh, first, and he really sort of, you know, fucked me on this one. I'm like, now I'm distracted by making a bomb? I'd like to get refocused. Who should I talk to first? You're talking to me already? Not wrong, smartass. You're not wrong. Fucking dick. Okay. Who should I talk to second? Uh... <laughs> Larry! <laughs> no! No! There must be others! He always wants to meet new people. Although, I think mostly he wants new people to meet him. Not so much the other way around. I'll check it out, thanks. What else would you like to know? We're done. Thanks for nothing, Mystery Monkey 49. Thanks for fucking nothing. So is it, what is this, the science corner? What do we got here? Let, let's take a look at the science. Notes. Some hole. Noises. Need some tomatoes for soup. Who is ghost? <laughs> I am not qualified. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. What is this? A magnet? Oh, a magnet. This might come in handy. Got a magnet. Hey, it's as simple as that, chat. I am not qualified. Who is ghosts? <laughs> what do we got here? Remember, do not split up when searching for ghosts like in Scooby Doo. Okay, who took my sunglasses? Give back. By me. This is art, art by me, Koala. It's me doing a harder hula hoop. Doing a hula hoop. <laughs> this is... Uh, this is my kind of game, chat. I fucking really like this so far. So this is them, I think. What the fuck have they been doing? What is this? Science line, don't go in. <laughs> um... Noodle. Hi. How's it hanging? Ah, fine, I guess. Bored, mostly. Bored? That's suspicious. Suspicious? Why? Surely you can't just say I'm suspicious. Oh, I can. I just did, Noodle. You're fucking... I'm so positive you are the ghost. There's no rule against me calling you bored. I'm not being suspicious at all. I guess not. Sorry for calling you suspicious. That's okay. Why are you bored? Isn't hunting ghosts supposed to be exciting? For the first week, sure. But not now, though. I've been at this post the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. Gross! That's such a weird thing to say to anyone in real life. Like, you don't fucking say stuff like that. Like, I'm shedding. <laughs> hey, man. I know! Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Your... Your wool. <laughs> oh, no. Your wool. I need it. <laughs> Your flesh. I need it for the bomb. I Noodle, I need your flesh for the bomb. To create an explosive device. Colonel. Your wolf. Why are you shedding so much? I haven't had a trim in ages. It's so yuck. Split ends everywhere. I'm usually getting cut once a week, but it's been two weeks now. Yuck. It's so gross. It's fine. Thanks for trying to spare my feelings. But there's wool everywhere. This is the face of someone who does not need their feelings to be spared because they feel nothing at all. So it's fine. I don't feel very bad. I think everyone is grossed out by it. I'm grossed out just by looking at you. Ah, surely that's not true. Eh, maybe not. But it feels true in my heart. I think most people like wool. It's used for so much stuff. Like what? My jumper is made out of wool. Haha, ha, are you for real? Yeah. That's weird. <clears throat> Walked right into that, I guess. Cool, thanks. Trying to be a nice fucking guy, and they say that's weird. It's weird that you're wearing my hair. Okay. 
Wool is pretty gross. That's why I keep mine short. I don't think wool is gross at all. Okay, but what if I wore a coat made of your slime? What? Ew. <clears throat> gross, right? Sure, but slime is kind of gross anyways. I'm saying that as someone who's very slimy. That's right, chat. I, Frog Detective, am constantly covered in slime. It's, one, it's how I detect so well. Wool is worn by most people. This is the first time I've heard someone, I've heard of someone wearing wool. The first time ever finding out where their wool goes, dude. I think that makes you the weird one. Plus, I'm pretty sure your shirt you're wearing right now is wool. What? I'm wearing another sheep's hair? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Gross! I'm happy to take your wool away from you if you'd like. I mean, your own wool, not your shirt. Ah, yes, please. But you'll need something to clean it up with, like a broom or like fire. Cool, okay. I probably won't use fire. Okay. Can't believe I'm wearing wool. What if it's Barney's? <laughs> what if it is Barney's, dude? What if it's Barney's? Mind if I ask more questions? Ask away. This hole. <laughs> what is this hole next to you? What can you tell me about this hole? I hate this hole. <laughs> Why? It never does anything. It's a hole. I'm a ghost scientist. <laughs> this game, dude. I can bear. This game is fucking. Ah. <laughs> There's something about the dialogue that's so good and just so fucking janky and weird. <laughs> I want to see ghosts, not holes. Maybe the ghost is in a hole. Is in the hole. Have you looked? I've looked. No ghosts in there. It's a it's a pretty deep hole, but it gets smaller as you go down. So maybe there's a ghost further down. Do you hear any ghost noises coming from the hole? Sometimes. But not as many as Bernie and Larry's hole. Now that's a noisy hole. I wish I could hang out there. Who's stopping you? The boss. Who's the boss? I don't know. Maybe Mystery Monkey? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, mind if I ask some more questions? Ask away. I have nothing else to ask you, friend. You and I are done. <laughs> you and I have finally reached a conclusion. No questions right now. Possibly never again. I do need your wool, though. I need to find a broom. Don't. Hear that? Ch hear that? I heard a noise. There was something in that hole. I heard it. In the haunted hole, I heard it. It went like, <laughs> hear that? Oh, you heard it too, my friend. I'm going in it. I'm going in. Hmm. I should have listened to the sign. Yeah, no, I can bear. I can't even fit in it. Okay. All right. Well, I need a broom so I can collect this bastard's wool. So I can make a bomb. I'm gonna go look for that real quick. Just normal wildlife in the uh, woods. Just normal jungle wildlife chat everywhere we look. There's nature. Koala friend. Ah, oh, a broom. Perfect. Oh, a broom. Perfect. Let's go grab that wool before we do anything else like talking to that stretching weirdo right there. Yeah, that's like the leader of the village. That's like the king who called the, who called for help. We'll worry about him in a minute. First, I gotta grab all this wool. I think I gotta like talk to them about it. Broom, okay. I got a broom. Hey, I got that broom. Ready to clean? Yes, amazing. Thanks, detective. Can I keep this broom? Sure, I stole it. Can I keep your wool? This is about the answer I was expecting when I asked this person who's freaked out about anyone using wool, um, to keep it. That's like asking- that's like a fucking hairdresser asking if they can keep your hair. I guess at this point, like, we're at that dynamic now, and it's like at, like, a fucking person at, like, a- like, a barbershop, like, asking, Hey, can I- you- can I keep your hair? 
Mm. It's still weird. But yeah, knock yourself out. What? I mean, like, take all the wool you want. Not physically knock yourself out. Wow. Got wool, chat. That's right. Step one of four into creating a bomb. Done. Soon we'll be able to blast our way into a cave somewhere without any concern. So there's a mouse detective uh, scientist here. Anything over here I need to know about? Who's that? Who's that? What was that? Hello? Yo? I think there's someone over there, but uh, I ain't sure. I can't. Maybe it's just my eyes. Maybe it's the salt water getting to my eyes. Hey, there's a, maybe it's nothing. It's probably nothing. It looks like a little bit like a blobfish monster, but probably nothing. Hey man, do you need help, bud? Hey, howdy. What are you doing in there, Smitty? But there's a storm. Uh, it's not raining yet. Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim in storms. Everyone keeps telling me to get out of the sea, but it's safer in here than it is up there. Why? Why is that? No ghosts in the water. Ghosts can't swim. How, how do you know that? Martin said... You don't look that happy to be in there. I guess I'm not. Sorry. Th sorry. Thanks. Thanks. May I ask why you're so sad? Well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. <laughs> I told you it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well... Go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. That's... <laughs> All right. Oh, why, why? Boats are fast, and I'm not fast. If I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast too. Nice, right? I don't have any idea where to find one though. Even if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Is there anything you need to know? The magnet. <laughs> this magnet. I brought you a magnet. What? Like, a real one? Are you for real? Yeah! This is a dream come true! Thank you so much! No problem. In return, I'll give you this... Oh my god, Chet, look at his smile. I made him happy. Like all the others. In return, I'll give you this big shell. I don't need it anyways. Great, thanks. Wow. A real magnet. Wow, what a fucking journey he and, he and I had, Chet. I'm not done talking to you, I want to talk about the ghost. Always with the questioning. God, is there anything you need to know? Oh, wow, dick. Uh, did you a favor giving you that magnet that was on a fucking table, and uh, this is how you talk to me now. I'd like to ask you about the ghost. What can you tell me about the ghost? Well, not much, I guess. I heard noises coming from the holes around the island. They freaked me out so badly that I grabbed my floaty and got in here. How long have you been in the water for? Uh, maybe two weeks now. It's hard to tell. Whoa! Are your feet, like, wrinkly? Ew, I don't know. You should check. Maybe later. Is there anything you need to know? He hasn't eaten, he hasn't done anything but float in the water. For two weeks. I didn't even learn his name, I didn't care enough. He's gonna die in this fucking water. That's the face of a man who ain't gonna be here in this mortal coil for much longer, chap. Take a look. Look at him. Oh, that's the cave I think we're gonna blast open. Or is that even a cave? I honestly don't know. Well, I've been avoiding talking to you this whole time because you sort of freak me out, but uh... Alright. Ah! Who are you? I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the frog detective here from the agency. 
Oh, okay. Don't sneak up on me like that. I was visible for the entire approach. Well, fine. I, I guess just don't look so spooky. Okay, I'll do my best. Sorry I'm so cranky. I haven't slept in two weeks. I'm Martin, king of the island. You're a king? Well, when I got here, there was nobody else on the island except for me and Finley. So I thought it was fine to declare myself king. Really cool of you. Finley? I don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley mostly cares about the dance competition. The dance competition? No, I meant to ask, who's Finley? Oh, okay then. Answer the question. <laughs> Answer the question. Do you mind if I ask a few questions? Yeah? Okay, qu got questions for me? Who's Finley? You mentioned your friend Finley. Who is that? Finley lives on a nearby island and comes to visit every few days. Last time I saw Finley, she was talking about the song she wanted to dance to for the competition. Her moves are pretty amazing, not like me. She'll probably win. I haven't seen her in a while, but she's probably still prepping for the competition. It's tomorrow. Not that I'll be able to compete well, with this whole spooky situation going on. Martin sighs, Martin says in parentheses out loud. Got questions for me? Dance competition. Let's ask the important questions. You mentioned the dance competition. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? It's tomorrow. Anything else? Best dancer wins. Oh my god, I hate him. I hate Martin Chat. I don't like him. He's the one he's the one on the island I don't like. <coughs> I really don't like him. I hate, I actually think I hate him completely. Okay. Got questions for me? God fuck him, dude. Alright, about let's talk about the noises. Then, can you tell me about the noises and where they were coming from? I'm not exactly sure where they were coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. <laughs> How do you know for sure? I have a book about ghosts. It's called The Ghost Guide, Foolproof Ways to Detect a Spirit. I read most of it. Anyway, in the book it says that most ghosts can't be seen, and get this, I haven't seen a single ghost yet. <laughs> the proof is all there. Got questions for me? Dude, this is the sort of shit that the second best detective gets put on while, like, the main best detective, like, Lobster Cup, is, like, out solving murders. I'm solving ghost islands that don't exist. Ghosts that don't exist on a spooky island that isn't actually spooky. Like, this is what the fuck I'm stuck with. Because, cause, like, Lobster Cop steals all the jobs in, like, the whole area. <sighs> Let's talk about your nerves, Martin. You seem nervous. Is there anything I could do to help? It's just a ghost getting me down. I haven't been able to sleep. I'm kind of annoyed, too, because I usually love hearing stories about ghosts. I've read all about them. I read all about them on the cyberweb.com. But now, I'm living one. I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of things. Don't worry. Bottom of the grave, more like. What? That made more sense in my head. I guess I mean, like, we'll probably die before the mystery is solved. <laughs> All right, take it easy now, Martin. Uh, this is my first day here, okay? Well, how about you stop talking like a crazy person and you just let me handle the job instead of saying that we're all going to die? All right? Because, like, it's spooky noises coming from a hole. Uh, it's not... That's very dark, Martin. Dark. <laughs> just like the conclusion to this tale. <laughs> Sorry if I'm being dramatic. You know I'm a good detective, right? I've solved every case I've taken on. Except the mystery of how to put a hat on. Because of his disgusting frog eyes, he can't put hats on. That makes sense. It'd be, it'd be almost impossible to put a hat on that head. Almost completely impossible. My head is a strange shape. It really is. The point is, you're safe. I'm going to find the culprit. The best thing you can do is sit and relax. Everything will be okay. I don't feel okay. 
I'm finding it really hard to calm down. I understand. Ghosts are scary. But it might not be a ghost. You really think it's not a ghost? I don't know for sure. Oh. Let's try a visualization exercise. What's a visualization exorcism? Okay, he just faked not hearing me right right there. That was like a fake. He faked it. He completely faked it. He knew he knows exactly what I fucking said. This guy's the guy who's making the ghost sounds. He's trying to fucking waste my time. It's a thing where we pretend. Imagine you're on a beach surrounded by calming waves. Everyone everyone in chat can join in this exercise. You can like close your eyes. All right, close your eyes and imagine you're on a beach surrounded by calming waves. Okay? You could feel the cool breeze on your face. The waves slowly move in and then out. It is a safe beach. What beach is it? This beach. This isn't a safe beach. There's a ghost here. No, the ghost is on holiday. Oh, uh, where, is, where is it then? On a road trip. Cool. Can we visualize that we're on a road trip instead? But the ghost is on the road trip. Oh, good point. Yeah, continue. Anyway, all right, chat, everyone, get refocus on the fucking thing. Everyone close your eyes and continue to focus on the, the adventure, all right? The, the visualization exorcism, okay? Close your eyes, all right? Join me, join me, join me. Mm. The waves are coming in and out slowly. There's nothing to worry about. No ghosts around at all. The ghost is on a road trip. Yep, nothing to fear. A nice, sandy beach. Just be in the ocean. <clears throat> How do you feel? Relaxed, so relaxed. Great, me too. Thanks so much, detective. That's okay. I want to give you something as thanks. Perhaps a piece of my crown. Oh my god, he just ripped off. That's pure gold. Wow, that's so kind. It's really heavy. It's made of pure gold. Wh why? I like gold. Okay. Got question three? No, we're done here. One more step towards creating a bomb, chat. Martin has no idea that we're about to blow his fucking island to kingdom come. Only a matter of time now. That bomb is gonna level this whole place. Ghosts can't. Look, chat, you ever hear of a ghost that survived a bomb? No. My love. Hey. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Ha! Ah! Stop right there! Huh? Why? My shells! Don't step on my shells! Oh, I, I, I won't. We can't be sure of that. We can't be sure you won't. I, I guess not. They're very fragile and small. Aren't we all? Aren't we all? Fragile and small. <laughs> I guess. Please be careful. Okay. Are you still going to stand like that? Yes. Why? I'm alarmed by you. I'm on alert. I am protecting my shells from dangerous frog feet. Wow. Sorry! I'm just worked up about my shells! I don't mean to be rude, but what shells? I can't see any shells. That's because they're small! How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass! Wow! Sorry, but it's the truth! I had to get this one specially made for my tiny shells! Fine. Can I ask you some questions now? Ask me questions, just be careful! I want to, honestly, the cave is meaningless to me. I, I want to ask him about the tiny shells, chat. This is hands down the greatest game of all time. Chat, I was telling you guys, this game is really charming. And there's a sequel, that's why I wanted to wait before I played it. I wanted to do both in one package, because they're both, like, micro episodes. So. That's why I waited so long to play this. I've, I've known about it for, like, a year. But they just, the sequel, like, just came out, like, last week or two. So I wanted to do them both at the same time. Tiny shells! Let me ask about them. Why don't you just get a bigger shell? Ha! Ha ha ha! 
You fool! Hey! Sorry. It's just that there's not many big shells around here. If I could get one, sure. This magnifying glass would be useless to me. But I don't see a big shell around here, do you? <laughs> oh, I don't know about that, Duckman. I don't know about that. Hmm. Ask me questions. Big shell. Colonel. Big shell. Colonel. <laughs> I have a big shell if you want it. What? How? It's a long story. I wish I could magnify in the cutscene, dude, because he's still fucking watching from way over there. Look at him. Oh, it's cut off. Look at him. Look at him. He's looking. He's watching from here as we give away his gifts to someone else. All we've done so far in this game is practice, um, bartering for, like, whatever we want. We've just been bartering. We haven't even done any detective work. We just barter. It's a long story. Oh, in that case, I don't care. I hate stories. Okay. Anyway, I totally want that shell. Can I swap you for it? I have this magnifying glass to look at the tiny shells, but I won't need it now that I have this big shell. Oh, cool, thanks. You're still standing weird. I'm still on alert! <clears throat> Here's the magnifying glass. I got a magnifying glass and upgrade. I guess it's a different kind of magnifying glass because I definitely don't see shit down there. What was that? Oh no, it was nothing. I thought I saw a monster, but it was in fact just him again looking at me. Is that, is that creep still here? Hang on. Man, this game makes me smile. Hang on. Oh god, he's back. <laughs> Always asking questions! Ask me questions, just be careful! I want to ask about the cave before I go. Do you know anything about that cave? Huh? What? No. I'm not even sure it's a cave. It just looks like a pile of rocks if you ask me. Oh, it's a cave for sure. Well, I guess we just agree to disagree. It's literally a confirmed cave. Potato potato. Nobody pronounces it like potato. I do. Really? Yeah. Fair enough. Ask me questions. Alright, nah, we're done here. Tomato, tomato. Alright, well. I definitely hear spooky noises coming from that cave. But I need, I need more stuff for my bomb. Again, pretty shocking that within a half an hour of arriving on this island and asking questions, I've decided to commit to creating an explosive device to solve this case, but hey. Man, everything's so happy, I love it. Everything's got such a... Stealing your bed. Oh my god! It's always good to take a rest. I took a long nap in his bed while he just sat there and watched. Martin just watched as I fucking napped in his bed. Nothing you could do. I'm a detective. I'm I'm in the law, Chad. I'm the law. By me. This gives me dropsy vibes, dude. Like honestly, this whole game for some reason is giving me like making me wish there was another dropsy game. I don't know why. By me. All right. Uh, I want to talk to the mouse over here before I go talking to more people down the shore. Uh, uh. Oh, I gotta sleep. Oh no, chat, we've reached like DEFCON 1. I'm out, I'm officially out of tissues. I am now activating paper towel mode. I didn't want to have to do this. <laughs> I thought I was past this. 
Chat, you want? Oh my god, that fucking. When I was like in like elementary school, we'd run out of tissues all the time in like the winter at the school. They made us use fucking paper towels and not good paper towels. The really shitty paper towels, the bad ones. That's what they made us use to blow our nose in like fucking school. Can you believe that? And the brown ones. I'm talking the brown ones. The brown crap. They made us do that. Oh my god, hang on. Hold up. Just thinking about it is making me sweaty. I gotta take off my like top. Ugh. My sweatshirt has to come off. All right, mouse boy, you and me. Let's talk. Mo. Oh my god, this is Mo the mouse. Mo. Hi. Hello. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Well. I just never talked to a detective before. I heard so many nice things about you, but I don't want to be embarrassing. <laughs> if I am embarrassing, that'd be pretty bad. You're not embarrassing. Oh, that's good news. But the conversation isn't over. There's still time. <laughs> There's still time. <laughs> it's not wrong. <laughs> he ain't wrong, Chet. I have to be careful. Oh, well, is it okay if I ask you some questions? You have some questions? Uh, qu questions, yeah. You're nervous, why? You handsome? You seem very nervous, may I ask why? Uh, because of the detective thing I told you. Um, I'm afraid of detectives. Maybe when I was a kid, I had a bad dream about a detective or something. Something like that, I don't know. I'm sorry to hear about that dream. What? Oh, I, I didn't actually have a dream about that. So why are you afraid of me? <laughs> um... Uh, hello? Fine! You've worn me down! Damn your extreme detective skills! I'm nervous because of Mystery Monkey. Mystery Monkey is a huge fan of your blog, and I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. Aw, look at that, chat. Aw, look at that. That's nice. I just think Mystery Monkey is super neat, and I don't want to be embarrassing in case I mess everything up. Oh, well, is there anything I can do to help? Uh... There's a dance competition coming up tomorrow. I want to compete and show Mystery Monkey that I'm really good at dancing. I see. But I don't know what style of dance will impress them. Could you ask Mystery Monkey and find out? I could give you this mouse wash mouthwash in return. Okay. Questions, yes. Mouth wa mouse wash mouthwash. He wants to give me mouthwash. That's not toothpaste, but it might be toothpaste adjacent. Let's talk about the ghost. What can you tell me about the ghost? There's a ghost? <coughs> Aren't you a ghost scientist? Oh. Ghost scientist. Not toast scientist. That makes so much more sense. You thought you were a toast scientist? Yeah, I only took the job because, you know... Uh, you... you know... Because you like toast. Yeah. What have you been doing this whole time? Not thinking about ghosts, that's for sure. How spooky would that be? So, you haven't heard any weird noises? Oh, for sure. I, I've heard heaps of weird noises. I don't think they're coming from a ghost, though. What makes you say that? I haven't seen anything floating around as if a ghost was holding it. That happens in the movies. I'll keep an eye out, though. Sure thing. Questions, yes. Let's talk about that bottle. Real quick. What's in that bottle next to you? That's my mouse wash mouthwash. I'm happy to give it to you if you can find out what type of dance style Mystery Monkey likes the best. I'll get to it. Okay, let's go talk to Mystery Monkey about dancing, I guess. I'll come back later. 
I like him. I want to make him... I want to keep that smile on his face. All right, let's go talk to Mystery Monkey about the, um... The thing. <clears throat> the dancing. Questions, yes. What would you like to know? Uh, dance style. <laughs> hey, so, uh, you, uh... You like dancing and, um, dance styles? Here we go, Jet. Here it comes. Everyone buckle in! I don't understand. Uh... I like dancing a lot, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, kinda. What type... What type of... What type of dancing you like the best? And he... Well, I basically only have one move. Yeah, but like... If you saw someone dancing... Uh... <laughs> In what scenario would you most likely be like, this is a great dance? What? <sighs> I guess what I'm trying to ask is, what dance style do you like the best? Oh, uh, I think break dancing is neat. If I saw someone break dancing, wow, I would swoon. I would even go as far as to say, if I saw someone breakdance, I would be so deeply impressed that I would want to hang out with them at all times. Forever. <clears throat> and ever. Forever. That's great. Sorry for the weird question. That's okay. I I'm sure it's important to the case. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you later. Bye. Got a monkey fat. That's in my that's an inventory item slot right there. That's a monkey fact. All monkeys love breakdancing. Got it. I have some questions. Questions, yes. Dance styles, let's tell them. Hey, I talked to Mystery Monkey. Oh my god. Did you did you, did you mention me? What did Mystery Monkey say? Does Mystery Monkey hate me? I it's so I'm so embarrassing. I didn't mention you. Oh, Mystery Monkey likes breakdancing the best. Breakdancing. I think I can do that. I think you, I definitely know you can't do that. I've seen, I, I'm absolutely positive you, you are not going to be able to pull this off. You need to get out. You need to back out of this right now. Please. Please, Mo. It's just not on the table. <laughs> yeah, I can do that, you say. Breakdancing is like one of the hardest dances to do, isn't it? <laughs> Isn't breakdancing super hard? I don't know if Mo's gonna be able to pull this off in one go. Dude, in a day? Learn it all in a day? Not... I think I could do that. I gotta start practicing now, though. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, here's some mouthwash before I forget. Cheers, man. Well, you better start practicing now. Oh, this is gonna be the most pathetic thing. Well, hey, you know, you gotta start somewhere. And I, I respect his hustle. You know, he's trying. Look at that. Did a little like dip there at the end. That's hard. That takes a lot of effort. Okay, so I've got mouthwash. Um, how do I get their pasta? I need their pasta. I need your pasta. Bernie. Hey, you're that detective, right? The, the one that the monkey keeps on going on about. Yeah, that's me. I'm so glad they finally brought someone else in. I know nothing. I really shouldn't have taken this job. Why'd you take it then? I'll be honest. I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you think that? The job listing said ghost scientist. That didn't seem like a real job to me. <laughs> I thought it was like a cover, you know? The one that only smart people could figure out, like me. It still could be a sub, a it still could be a cover. Maybe they're testing you. Oh, no. You're right. I better look competent. I, I, I'm joking. I'm only joking. Sure. Can I ask you some questions about the case? What else do you want to know? About this hole. What do you know about the noises coming from this hole? I mean, I'm not 
great at this job. I'd be good at other jobs, I'm just letting you know. But it does seem like the noises coming from this hole aren't from a natural creature. They seem otherworldly somehow. They have a weird, distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call, but only sometimes. Wow, that's a lot of good information. Thanks. Yes, I'm very good at finding things out, if you know what I mean. Bernie, I'm not a secret agent. <laughs> Bernie, I, I, I'm not testing you. I'm not a, I'm not a secret. Uh-huh. What, now he thinks I'm the secret agent, like, testing him. What else do you want to know? Let's talk about secret agents. Let's just get to the bottom of this. You mentioned that you want to be a secret agent. Why? Ah! Secret agents get the best stuff. Like, for example, you've got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. I'm not a secret agent. Sure you're not. Bernie winks. I saw that wink for a second. It was very, like, very uncomfortable. <clears throat> Even if I can't be a secret agent, the things I'd give up for a magnifying glass has nothing I want more. Interesting. Very interesting, Bernie. Very interesting, Bernie. The... The... The bear, I guess, is what you are. You're a bear. What else do you want to know? A magnifying... Let's talk about this magnifying glass. I have a spare magnifying glass if you're interested. Oh! Interested? Are you kidding me? That's very literally... There's, li there's very literally nothing. I want more. Here you go. This is the best day ever. All of my dreams are coming true. Is there anything I can do to repay you? Your pasta. But pasta there. I need it. I need your precious pasta. Do you need any help with your secret agent business? Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine. I could give you my lunch. Oh, what's cooking? Pasta, like always. If there's one thing I love apart from the thrill of secrecy, it's pasta. Anyway, my appetite is satiated from the deliciousness of this magnifying glass. That's a weird way to put that. Whatever. Would you like the pasta? Heck yeah! Oh my god, he said heck, dude. What the f- I thought this was- I thought this was a cool frog, but I didn't realize they thought that swearing was cool, dude. That pisses me off a little bit. <laughs> sort of sad that we have to cave to that to be a detective in this world. All yours. Got some pasta. Nice. Chat. We're just about ready to make a bomb. No one really, no one quite expected this outcome when I, when I entered the island, but there's still one more being to talk to. Oh yeah. We have one more person I gotta talk to before I put that bomb together. Also, wait, what's that? Oh, they got toothpaste. Okay, so the mouthwash is not for the, that's not toothpaste. I can't make a bomb out of that. Hey, hey. Little bug friend. No, oh, come back, bud. Don't turn away from me. Hey. All right. <laughs> Howdy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just hanging out on the beach with my bud, Fresh X. Are you the, uh... Yep. Great. You brought my toothpaste shipment? Huh? What? Uh, no. I'm the detective. Oh, okay. Can I call you D-Tech? Yes. Nice. I have some questions, is that okay? Take it away, D-Tech. Your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get right down to it. Let's get right down to the business. Why aren't you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? It's my day off today. I've been working so hard for the last two weeks, it's very important to take a break and get some sun. You're right. But, uh, uh, 
not, not about the sun, about taking the day off. Yeah, I didn't pick a great day for it. Sorry to question you on your day off. Take it away, d -tick. Your smile. There's something about it. I hope you don't mind me saying, but you have a wonderful teeth. Ah. Thank you. I'm so glad someone finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? With Dr. Tight Smiles, 101 tooth whitening cool paste for teeth, of course. Oh my God, it's right there. He has it right next to him. Dr. Tight Smiles, 101 tooth whitening cool paste for teeth. I get a shipment here every three days. I go through the stuff so quickly. I'm down to my last tube. Wow, where can I get some of my own? Do, do you have teeth? I, I, I've never checked, I don't. Um, well, I could give you my tube. But I would need something else to keep my mouth fresh. Oh, you mean like this viscous liquid I was given by a scared mouse? That he called mouth wash? Mouse wash. I'll think about it. Can I ask you some more questions? Take it away, d -tick. I got mouth wash, friend, for you. I have some mouth wash. Amazing, thanks. Am I able to use your toothpaste now? I almost forgot, here you go, d -tick. Got toothpaste, chat. We're making a bomb. Goodbye. Look at that winning smile, he knows it. Yeah, look at, look at that, look at his smile. Look at that winning smile. Well, time to blow up the island. <laughs> Yo, Larry, the bombs must be prepared. More questions? Ask me them. the questions, I mean. About the explosion. Let's make some dynamite. Let's see. Whoa! You got everything. Yep. Amazing. Shall we make some dynamite? It's time, Jet. Let's do it. Nice. I'll cook up some dynamite, and we can get exploding, baby. Homemade dynamite made from gold, wool, toothpaste, and uh, something else I already forgot. He was serious. Oh, he was. Chat, you thought he wasn't. You fucking thought he was playing around? And pasta, of course. How could I have been so foolish? Chat, you're th some people in this chat thought this guy was fucking around. You thought the lobster was fucking around. You thought Larry was full of shit. Huh? Yeah, well. Joke's on you, Larry never plays around, that's right, Chet. Well, this is it. Yep. Time to blow this cave up. Larry, explosives are dangerous. Sorry. Time to carefully blow this cave up. Thanks. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too. And I'm not even coming into the cave. You're not? I don't like dark places. I'm a sunny boy, baby. I'm not a baby. Sorry. Anyway, good luck. Look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. Oh! Ah! We just hucked it. It didn't even make an exp- It just fucking sounded like rocks. The cave. The cave! The cave of darkness. Hello? Hello? I'm a detective, I'm here to solve a, uh, uh, the mystery of sounds being made. I can't even climb the ladder, chat, there's no way out. I, I, I can't use ladders, my hands are too slimy, I'm covered in slime, don't you remember? Like frog slime. Uh, oh. No going back. What was that? What was that? Uh, uh, 
We're in the wrong cave. It's I think it's Finley. Chad, I think it's Finley. I think Finley got trapped inside of the cave and just hasn't left. They've been training this whole time in the depths. Trapped inside of a cave, starving to death. Stop that right now. Oh, hi. Oh my god, my frog is in kill mode, dude. Look at him. He's ready to kill. Who are you? Are you a ghost? Huh, what? I don't think so. Are you sure? Um, yeah. That's good. You're not wrong. So, uh, who are you? Fiddly. Who are you? The detective. Howdy, detective. Wait a minute. Finley. I... I know that name. I'm pretty well known around local dance circles. That's not it. Oh! You're Martin's friend! Yeah! What are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition. It's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Uh... Uh... Geez, like two weeks, I think. I didn't even realize. Ha ha. Ha ha. Wait. Two weeks. Have you seen any ghosts around? Ha ha, nah. Hee hee. Well, chat, you gotta be honest. No one saw this one coming. It was all... It was all Finley dancing in the, in the depths of the mines. It certainly wasn't a ghost or a specter. This was all about a guy dancing in the depths. Oh no, Finley's a girl, I just remembered. Just me down here. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why not? He thinks every dark space is haunted. Oh my god. We never asked one time if Martin's a fucking idiot. This case could have been cracked wide open way before we ever freed Finley. We could have left and let them die down here. We never, we never thought to ask the most important question of all. Is Martin a fucking moron? God damn it. This is all, this is all my fault, Chad. I wasted our time. This is why they sent the second-rate detective. Dude, Lobster Cop actually, like, fucking solves real crimes. Like, people get murdered around Lobster Cop. Like, he's a fucking actual hero. He stopped, like, people from dying in burning buildings. He saved, like, millions. I solve... What, what's that sound? <laughs> That's the depth of most of my cases, is what's that sound coming from that? What, where's that sound coming from? We found a guy who stole an entire forest. Yeah, well, I didn't see- I don't know about that one, dude. But what is the sound? I don't know. He reads all those ghost books and he thinks there's a ghost in every crevice. It's good for me, though. Perfect spot to train. You've... been... dancing... for two weeks straight. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps. And these mushrooms are super nutritious. Gross! Mushrooms are disgusting. Finally, a man after my own heart. Mushrooms certainly, by themselves, if I were to pick a mushroom up and crunch into it, that would be the grossest fucking concept in my entire life. Fuck this frog. Chat, I'm talking about this in the sense of, like, you're not mixing these mushrooms into something. They're fine when they're put into something. Mushrooms are fine in a pasta, on a pizza, they're fine. But if you pick up a fucking mushroom and you crunch into that mushroom, uh, you should go to fucking prison. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. That is not- that is not a- that is- even if it was cooked, even if the mushroom was cooked, if it was a whole unsliced mushroom just like cooked into something, that's jail. That's straight up, straight to jail. You're going to prison. If you're lucky. Shit take, shit take, don't you mean shiitake? Shiitake mushroom, shitty trash mushroom? <laughs> Food crime. food crime. That's your opinion, detective. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> you bitch. No, it's a fact. Thank you. 
Finally, someone's defending me. Oh my god, it's happening, chat. The game is fucking- the, the game is fighting for me. This- this game was made for me. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Martin's been super spooked out because he's been hearing weird noises all over the island. Any idea what the noises could be? Hmm. I've been listening to my radio while dancing. This cave has a lot of holes. The sound from your radio could easily travel up to the surface. I bet it'd sound super warped, too. You know you've been trapped in here, right? The cave has been blocked off by rocks. Haha, -ha, really? Haha. -ha. Yeah. You could have starved and died. Haha, <laughs> hee. That's so funny. Yeah, you could have died. I'm like. <laughs> Dude, it's like this game was written by me. <laughs> I like. <laughs> Pretty much everything I say is immediately fun. <laughs> Weird. Uh. Ha <laughs> I'd actually be a ghost. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, we should head back up to the island. Yep. Wow, chat. What an adventure. Frog Detective does it again. The mystery of the weird sounds on the spooky island was in fact, Finley the whole time, dancing. I get paid either way. Finley! Hi, Martin. H hi! Hey. Hi! What are you doing here? I was in the cave. You, what? How did you get in? It's been sealed up for weeks. Two weeks, to be exact. Wait a minute. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave all along. She was so wrapped up in practice, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. The noises from her radio carried all the way up to the surface and sounded super spooky. But... My ghost books. I was so sure it was a ghost. No, it was just me. It just goes to show, you should never trust books. That's right, Chet. The only good thing to do with a book is burn it. It's the right thing to do. Always use the internet instead. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Books are, without exception, factually inaccurate. Yep. Hi, apologies for the interruption. I hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. While I agree with the detectives on most issues, there are, con there are contexts in which books can be very useful and informative. It's important to check the validity of the author's sources and to check if the book is up to date. The internet can also be a useful place to find information, but make sure you're getting the your information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game. So anyway, as I was saying, Books have no place in our society. <laughs> they aren't welcome in my world. Sure thing. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening my eyes to the uselessness of books. Chat, I'm so glad this game has taken this direction. Remember when we were solving crimes, like ghost crimes, and now instead <laughs> this is a statement about how books are fucking wrong and just, just, just bad. Dude, I can, this is, ah, oh man. You're very welcome. So, just to be clear, you were practicing for the competition this whole time? Yeah. I'm in it to win it. I'm still not entirely sure what this dance competition involves. Dance competition. Best dancer wins. This is all they've said. This is like some sort of cult shit chat. I'm almost fucking positive that there's a like a murder that happens at this dance competition. Because all they've said about it is dance competition, period. Best dancer wins, exclamation mark. Every time. They just, they just keep saying it. Who else is competing? Hmm. That's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget Mo the Mouse. Who? Ah, ah, ah. Ah, uh, Mo, no, dude, no! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I guess Finley couldn't have met them. One of the ghost scientists. The what? Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. It's nothing. 
I think we need more entrance. I know a few hardworking friends who could use a good boogie. But they won't be here tomorrow. Well, let's move the competition to today. Yeah! 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 Before we dance, I just want to say, thanks for solving the mystery, detective. No problem at all. You owe me $10,000. But we can figure that out after the competition. I had a lot of help. Larry figured out where the noises were coming from. Larry? Is that the lobster? The one that talks over everybody? Yep. Well, I'll give my thanks to Larry, too. So, shall we, Boogie? Let's go. Chat, it's a dance finale, chat. Oh my god, I should have seen it coming. Just a bunch of people dancing. It's boogie time. Oh! Oh my god! Wow! Well, that's part one. Uh, part two is actually, like, I think immediately following this without any fucking space. Like, my character walks in the door and the next game starts. Like, he walks back into his office and immediately gets a call, so... We're going straight into the next one. There's a there's a second game, and it's about the same length as this one, so I'll probably run for about an hour and a half. Oh, we're going to part two right now. As soon as the dancing is done, because I would never let I would never let Mo not get his time in the spotlight after what after what happened to him. Look at him! Look at him! He's not even break dancing. He's doing the robot now. Okay, I think we've practiced enough. Wait a minute. Who's judging? I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm judging? Oh my god! Look at them all go! Chat! Now this is the greatest moment of all, where I rig the contest and make sure that Mo wins. Okay, that's not even breakdancing, you fail. That's not breakdance, that's not a breakdance. That's the robot. You, I think that the robot originated in breakdance? I mean, like, maybe? You could say that about anything, when you say, I think. All right, who's gonna floss? Do it. I dare one of you to do it so I can alt tap, so I can just alt tap for the game right away. Do it, cowards. Do it, come on. Yeah, which one? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I like Larry's the most. I think... I think I liked Larry the Lobster's the most. His was a good move and it was very sensual. My guy just looks like he's drunk. My guy was just like, he just like drank a bunch of alcohol and then went out there and wobbled. Pick the winner. Oh my god, um... Uh... Guys, it's between Mo and Larry. Larry's the winner in my heart, but Mo... If Mo wins, they get to fuck, you know what I'm saying? Larry, it's Larry. I can't uh, fucking, like, fix the vote. That wouldn't be fair. It was Larry. Larry won. Decisively, Larry won. Goodbye. Goodbye, my friends. I'm taking the only boat. <laughs> You're all trapped here now. That was the true mystery, is which one of the fucking assholes who was on this island before, before stole all the boats, because there's no way off the island. Goodbye. I'll never forget you. Goodbye forever. They're gonna die. They're dead. It's over. A little bit later. Oh my god! It's a picture from the event! There's me! There's... I already forgot your name. There's... I forgot, I forgot his name. There's... Uh, uh, Mo and Larry! And Martin! Uh, the rest. Hello? Frog Detective, Crime Solving Agency, Frog Detective speaking, how may I help you? Detective! Supervisor! Great work on the Haunted Island mystery! Thank you, I, I tried really hard. I don't think even Lobster Cop could have solved that one. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cop, sir.
You're probably right. Anyways, <laughs> you're right. Dang, you're right. Anyway, I saw you busted a groove at the dance competition. Yeah, where, where did you see that? It was on TV, every channel. And, wait, what? Every channel. In HD. Cool. I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Mostly the calls are about your dancing. But I did get one call about a case. Have you heard of Warlock Woods? I haven't. Well, there's some very strange goings-ons over there. They need our best investigator on the job. Lobster cop wasn't available? Nah. Can you handle another case, detective? I can handle anything. He will return in the case of the Invisible Wizard Day. Oh my god. Which is right now. <laughs> Which is right now. Activate sequel. I'm loading it. Right now. Right now. The, it just came out. Chat. Let me just... Turn it on. This game is, of course, brought to you by Super Hot. Uh, this is a Super Hot uh, production chat. You guys all saw it right there. This is by Super Hot. The devs who made Super Hot, of course. That's right. This game is going to have slow mo fucking dodging bullets. This becomes a shooter, by the way, an incredibly violent shooter. So, um, just so you guys are on the same page as me, uh, this is going to make some people throw up. What what the frog detective does to some people in this game, uh, the the dev decide to make this much much darker than the last one. I'm talking frog detective uses his frog slime to um break someone's neck uh, very quickly into the first act uh, because they were in his office and they didn't bring him the right coffee. So, just so you guys know, new game. Start a new game? Yep. Well, I'll say that I'm a fan of this series, and I think they're making more episodes. It's just that two episodes made sense to do for a, for a stream, even though I think they're making a third one already. I like these tiny games, these small ones. A call! A, a call! What could it be? Who could it be? Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency, Frog Detective speaking. Hi, Detective. Hi, Supervisor. Why did you hang up on me? Huh? We were talking a moment ago about a new case. The one at Warlock Woods, right? Yeah. I hung up because I got too excited about solving another mystery. <laughs> That's a good way to explain the really quick cut to black at the last one. That's understandable. Uh, what can you tell me about this new case? It's a doozy, detective. Hold on to your hat, supervisor. You know I can't wear hats. Sorry. He doesn't even know that I can't wear them because of my gross frog head. Anyway, Warlock Woods is a fairly small town up north. They don't get many visitors around here. A couple of days ago, a new resident moved in. A shy kind of gal doesn't like to be the center of attention. Anyway, she settles into the new house and doesn't go outside to greet anyone. The residents of the town feel like they need to welcome her properly, so they organize a welcoming parade. My worst nightmare uh, was just realized in text form. My worst fucking nightmare ever. Hi, yes, I've moved into a new town and the people have decided to throw a parade without my permission for me. Uh, hi, yes. Um, you guys are all fucking insane. I have to move again now because you've decided to make this uh, the worst place to live ever. Hello, police. <laughs> Great idea. Absolutely. But someone in the town seemed to think otherwise. Last night, the parade decorations were destroyed. I think it was the person who's in the house. I think it was the person who moved in. Destroyed the parade so that it wouldn't fucking destroy their life. What? I know, right? So rude. Nobody has any leads on this case. They, I can't arrest... I have to arrest the entire fucking town, Chet. Nobody has any leads on the case. They don't know who done it. That's where you come in, Detective. That's me, I'm the detective. I, I know. Warlock Woods is a magic town, so it's not the easiest place to get to. You'll need to take an enchanted cart to the end of the line, then travel the rest of the way on foot. 
too easy. You'll need to question everybody to get to the bottom of things. Do you think you can solve the mystery? Hmm. Yeah. Great. Hop to it. Ha ha. Oh, I forgot to mention Chad. Did you like that? He said hop to it because I'm a fucking frog. I forgot to mention, the new resident of the woods is special. She's invisible. Ah, oh, that was loud. And the wizard! Ugh. An invisible wizard. Cool. Ah, uh, what's the relevance of her being invisible? Nobody knows what she looks like, so they're really excited to find out. Hence the parade, and the decorations, and the celebrations. I want her, they want her to be uninvisible. De-invisible. Uh, visible. <laughs> exactly. Wow, really a fucking big breach of privacy. Again, really fucking creepy town. Uh, incredibly creepy. I gotta turn down the game volume for this, uh, this application, sorry. I forgot this one's gonna turn- this one turned up automatically because it's technically a new game. Crank it down a tiny bit. There we go. There we go. Anyway, do you have everything you need? Um... I have my shoes, my jumper, my pants. I think I'm missing something. Your magnifying glass! Of course! It's on the table next to the door. Once you pick it up, you'll be ready to solve the mystery. Thanks, Supervisor. Good luck, Detective. Well, Chet, how does he know? I don't know. Eh, I don't want to think about it until episode four. Checking out what's up with my weird supervisor. Ah, my true, my trusty magnifying glass. I can't solve mysteries without it. Well, maybe I could, but I, w I wouldn't want to. Got magnifying glass. All right. Well, Chet. Now that we're all ready with our kid again, I reckon it's time to get a move on. Remember, Chet, not even Lobster Detective could pull this one off. That's why they hired me. That's why they brought me. What is this? <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Lobster Cop! It's him! He's coming to get me! Ah, uh, it's the famous frog detective. Ah! Uh, famous I'm not famous. <laughs> Perhaps not, but I'm sure you will be soon. Wow, I hope so. What brings you to my office, detective? Um, well, I was just leaving my office, actually. I work next door, right here. Oh, I thought that was a cupboard. No, it's my office. I've been putting all my cleaning supplies in there. I, yeah, I, I noticed I'm in there working every time you do it. I even say, this is my office. And then you say, sure is, little cleaning frog. And then I say, I am a crime-solving frog, not a cleaning frog. But usually you're gone already. Excuse my ignorance, detective. I wasn't trying to offend you. I'm a very busy boy, head full of mystery. Sometimes I forget to be polite. But if I was polite all the time, I would never have time to solve my crimes. I understand. Maybe that's why I'm not as talented as you, lobster cop. Perhaps. But detective, you must keep trying, never give up. I can give you some tips if you'd like. Wow, yes please. Tip number one, pay attention. <laughs> you should make sure you're always looking at things and paying attention to words. Yes, quite right. Tip number two, everyone is a suspect. <laughs> Even you. I, I will suspect myself much more from now on. Good call. Tip number three, carry a notebook. Oh, I'm not really big on books. Yeah, I mean, we spent like a solid five minutes of the last game, like, taking books down as a concept, so... <laughs> I don't think that one's on the table. 
They are, without exception, factually inaccurate. Detective, don't be foolish. A book you write yourself cannot be factually inaccurate if you are writing facts. I suppose you're right. I don't have a notebook, though. Well, it's your lucky day. I have a spare notebook on my desk. You can decorate it and use it as you like. Wow, really? Yep, there are stickers you can use, too. I bought them all with my crime-solving money. Cool. I'll let you get to it, Detective. Head to my office when you're ready to decorate. Okay. Thanks, Lobster Cop. Uh, feels like it's just a power play to get me to come in here and discover his uh, fucking, you know, various crimes he solved, like the mystery of the demonic bananas and uh, alien pool. Yeah, he went to space, looks like. At one point, he went to he went to, he went to space. He went to space and solved crimes like aliens and robots. He also went to um. Okay, uh, solved the mystery of the uh, ghosts goat in the tree. There's another picture of him confirming that ghosts are real, uh, on on a on a camera, like just casually, like haha, look, I've discovered and proven ghosts exist. Um. Here's a picture of him with my mom and dad. But he doesn't know I exist. He didn't know I was real until today. Okay, well. Hmm, which stickers should I pick and where should they go? Oh, this is a lot of pressure, actually. I really like Happy Starfish a lot, always did. I, I like apples. I do. I also like bananas. They're pretty good. They taste... I, is that an egg? I think that's an egg. And, um... There's the sun. Because I like the sun. Sun is important. There's sad carrot. Gotta have a sad carrot on it. And here's a really big sunflower. Enjoying the sun. I gotta move the egg. Move the egg out of the way. Sunflower's happy because the sun's there, and, um... Here's a magnifying glass. Because it's mine. It's my thing. And here's a, here's a thing of me. I'm gonna put this one right here, because this is frog nose, you know? Good. Cactus, worms, boots, pepe hands. Chat, if I just put everything in here, it's gonna get, like, crowded, alright? It's gonna get really crowded. Fine, I'll put the worms in. Happy? There's a worm. Alright, I'll put the boot in. I'll put one boot. All right, alligator is the coolest one. Fine, I'll put the alligator in. Happy? God, that's everything. Happy, is everyone happy? Alligator's hanging out with his friend, the cactus. There. I like cars. Oh my God, fine, I'll put the happy car in. Happy, are we good now? Everyone happy, is everyone happy? The eye, people want the eye. Where's even the, this is, I guess. Put that in the magnifying glass. Spider! Fine. That's it. No, that's it. We're done. I'm done. Notebook. Yeah, that's my notebook. Yep. Good book. Got a notebook. Open your notebook with tab. Oh my god. My things. The magnifier and the notebook. Invisible wizard question mark and then a bunch of blank pages Whoa, 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 whoa Detective oh my god. I've already wrote profiles for myself motive. I Don't think I did it, but maybe I have a rare curse where I commit crimes in my sleep Needs a holiday. Haha. Uh -huh. Just joacking <laughs> Notes I have a jumper. I have pants. I have a magnifying glass I have a good attitude. Who put this banana here? Whatever. Lobster cop. Motive. Maybe lobster cop made up the crime to give me a challenge. That's really nice of him. Also very unlikely. Needs. To figure out where to put cleaning supplies. Not my office. Notes. Number one best detective. Has lots of fans. Is super cool. So many trophies. I hope I get a trophy one day. <laughs> 
very suspicious to me. Also, I'm also pretty suspicious. I don't, I, honestly, either one of them could have done it. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna be honest. All right, well, <clears throat> lobster cup. How's your book decorating coming along? It's right there on the desk, you know. I know, I'm just taking my time as all. Well, I haven't got all day. Just kidding, I do have all day. Take as long as you need. Well, we're done here, goodbye. I just wanted to say bye to you, but I guess you don't even recognize when stuff has changed. Like, I took the book like a little while ago. Goodbye. There's a picture of me. It's right underneath, always in the shadow of Lobster Cup. And there's a picture of the, uh, you know, the commissioner or whatever the fuck, the supervisor. All right, let's get out of here. Time to solve another mystery. He would never do it. Dude. Yes, he would. Um, I forgot I had to take a cart here, like a creepy magic cart, and then I have to walk. Super Hot presents a game by Worm Club. Chat, I told you this game is going to be incredibly violent. With assistance from Film Victoria. Oh my god! Look at this production value! Warlock Woods! We're here! Starring the detective! Good shot! Susan! Ralph! Ralph is in this one? Mandy! Mary! And several more characters. Frog Detective 2, the case of the invisible wizard. Several more? That's my favorite character. <laughs> That's my favorite one. Here we are. Warlock Woods. No escaping now, chat. The exit's been sealed. All we can do now is carry on. Hold up. I have to sneeze. I feel much better now. Here we are in Warlock Woods. It's a fucking shithole. Turns out, this is a very small. I see, I see, I see, I see. Yes. Mm -hmm. Before I even talk to anyone, I gotta, you know, do a look around. That's them. Wait, that's the invisible wizard. I'm coming in. Hello, is anyone home? It sounds like somebody's inside, but I shouldn't intrude on them. I'll come back another time. <sighs> what secrets do you hold, invisible wizard? Oh, what the fuck? I'm not sure why this pie is here, but it seems out of place. I'll hold on to it for now. Got a pie. Don't spook me like that, you freaky fucking... Like, antler monster? What the shit? I want to talk to them first. They seem so meaninglessly, like, meaningless. I, I, I'm going to talk to someone that looks important. Hello, wizard. You see, this is the problem here. Uh, this place is a fucking madhouse. Uh, these people are fucking lost their minds, like, thinking that it would be cool. Like, this is a small town. And these people were like, let's throw a fucking parade for an invisible wizard who's hiding in their house and keeps the door locked at all times. Yeah, that's cool. And one of them is like a fucking, like... One of them is actually, like, straight up snake. But a lion. Here's, a, here's Mandy, I remember Mandy. Lots of pictures of Mandy. All right, let's just talk to who... Let's talk to this person. They look like they're in charge. Who is this? Naughty. Um... What? Huh? Who are you? I'm the detective. Oh. I thought Lobster Cop was coming. Ah! Oh, what? I've been shot! Ah! 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 
Ah! Huh? What? Did you say something about lobster cop? No, but I heard. Can this frog read my mind? Why are you speaking like that? Like what? Like this. Whoa! Is this what telepathy is? Can you hear this frog? You're saying everything out loud. Wow, this frog is, has temper. This frog's really freaking out. Anyway, who are you? I'm Naughty. Okay. I'm the mayor of Warlock Woods. Okay. Was it you that asked for me to come? No. I would have asked Lobster Cup. I really need to emphasize that I can hear you. Stop listening to me! Okay. Can I ask you some questions about the case? I guess so. Tell me what you want to know. Let's talk about what happened last night. Can you tell me about last night? Nothing. Oh, but I can tell you about the wizard. I know basically everything there is to know about her. That's great. First of all, she's a wizard. Uh-huh. And she's invisible. Great. And she just moved in. Yup. And she is a wizard. I think you mentioned that already. No, I don't think I did. Right, okay, sorry. It's fine. Anyway, tell me what you wanna know. Okay, uh, what about the wizard? So, how do you feel about the wizard coming to live here? Um, oh heck, how do I answer this? Uh, well, I'm happy she's here, but that house has been empty for ages, and I didn't know she was coming, right? Nobody told me, you see. Aren't you the mayor? I think so. I, I think. Anyway, she kind of came at a weird time of night, and I, well, I thought she was a ghost. Oh, yeah, it was a bit messy. Oh? I tried to vacuum her up. <clears throat> With a vacuum, I put it on the highest setting. Just really went to town with the vacuum. Really fucked her up. Really went to town. Fucked that little shit up. I think I really freaked her out. And now she won't come out of the house. Uh, please don't put me in jail. <laughs> please don't arrest me. <laughs> You're not going to jail. Jail isn't real. Wait, what? But you should probably apologize. Okay. Sorry, detective. I mean to the wizard. Right, yeah. That's why, dude, I'm a detective that doesn't believe in jail, just like he doesn't believe in books. All I believe in? There's no such thing as jail, only the eternity of, the, of death, all right? We're, we're a kill on sight community, understand, chat? Someone does a crime, bang! Once we catch him, bang! Put him up again, bang! Kill him. Get him out of here. Every penalty is death. Death! That's why I was helping with the parade. To apologize. But she hasn't... Dude, someone... The fucking mayor of your town you moved in to tries to vacuum you, all right? They grab a vacuum, they use it on the highest setting, they try to kill you. Then immediately after, once you lock yourself in your house, terrified of this person, they start forming a parade outside of your home. Like, inside of you. On the highest setting, dude. She hasn't been out of her house. Also, the parade is ruined. I see. This makes me sound really bad. I swear I wanted the parade to be lovely. As the mayor of the town, I booked a live band to play a song. I, unbelievable. This is, this is, this, she should go, this person should go to fucking prison, chat. Absolutely, this person. If there was jail, she would go. I would put her, you know, like, this, they're guilty. I found the criminal. Don't worry, uh, wizard. I found you the criminal. 
But as you can see, the stage is gross and ruined now. The band is on their way. I have no time to fix it. They're a very famous band. I want to be as professional as possible. If only I had a rug or something I could use, I could cover up the mess. But the town is in disarray. I don't have time to track one down. Oh, no! Thank you for your concern. If you happen to find anything that would do, that would work, please let me know. Oh, will do. Do you have any more questions? Um, tell me what you want to know. I have nothing for you. Nothing right now. That's it. Goodbye. All right, naughty. Motive. Try to vacuum up the wizard. Maybe there's some history there. Needs a rug. Notes. Thinks I can read minds. I can't. The mayor? Hired a cool band to play at the parade. Attacked the wizard. Yeah, there's a lot of bad stuff on your fucking... On this right now for you, Naughty. You're, like, in big trouble. Oh, there's another, like... I'm not sure why this pie is here. There's a lot of pies on the ground. Yeah, I don't trust Naughty as far as I can throw her. I can't throw her very far. Who is dropping pies? Yeah, I don't know, dude. Something weird's going on in this here town. Oh, another pie. Another pie. There's so many pies. Three lost pies. Anything behind the yards? Anything in like the back of these houses I should know about aside from that weirdo? Cause like, I don't want to go near him. There's Metal Gear Lion. Um, I don't see anything weird going- I guess I'll just talk to everyone now. Yeah, let's just talk to- let's talk to Bath person first since I saw them first. Even though they're weirding me out and it's sort of creepy. Victor. Hi. Hello. What happened? A little bit, but I'm on a case. Oh, cool. I'm Victor, who are you? The detective. Is that your real name? Maybe. Cool, cool. Are you here to question me and stuff? Cause like, I'm not suspicious. How do you know you're not suspicious? Checkmate, you little bitch. Oh, gotcha. This person is doomed. I've caught them in the trap. Well, I think I didn't do it. You think? Yeah, nobody knows anything for certain these days. So why are you here swimming? I'm visiting my friend Naughty. Oh, she's the only person I know with a hot tub. Plus, I heard there were going to be delicious pies for the parade, so the timing was perfect. Where do you live normally? Over near Pumpkinville. Nice spot. I was thinking of taking a holiday there at some point. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, this is killing me. Uh, this conversation is killing me. I got to get out. I have to get out. Um, so anyway, can I ask you some questions about the case? Yeah, whatever. Questions. About the wizard. Let's ask about the wizard. Do you know much about the invisible wizard before you came here? Uh, not really. I knew the parade was for her, but beyond that, I don't know a lot. Annoying that they never threw a parade for me coming to visit. Chat. This guy's got the eyes of someone who would destroy a parade in jealousy. I'll tell you that right now. Ah? Uh, I'm super cool. Have you been here before? So many times. The first time they even threw me a parade. Okay. I take the parade thing back. Just pretend I didn't say that. Sure. Detective, I'm really bored of this conversation. I'm sorry if that's rude, but I have a new policy of being honest with people. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Victor, you, whatever. Were you dishonest before? Yeah, I guess. I wouldn't tell people when they were boring me. I don't think that counts as dishonesty. So what am I supposed to do when people are boring then? I, I'm not sure, but probably don't tell them. It would hurt their feelings. I didn't hurt your feelings though, did I? Well, I have to admit I was a bit hurt. I have a very exciting job and I'm a frog and I solve mysteries. I don't think I'm that boring. Sure, but I've seen heaps of frogs before. Plus I, I solved my fair share of crimes. Which crimes? This one. You solved the crime already. Yeah. Ralph did it. <gasps> How do you know? Oh. Uh, good point. I haven't decided that bit yet. 
But it seems likely that he did it. What was his motive? His what? Uh, motive. The reason for destroying the parade. Oh, um... I think because he has an eye patch on. I don't think that's a real motive. That doesn't make any sense. Now who's the rude one? This conversation isn't going anywhere. Neither are you, apparently. Ah! Ah! I want to get out! I have to get away from this monster! Not until I solve the mystery. I'm sorry for being rude, Detective. I mean it. I just get so grumpy when I'm hungry. Oh, he's the hangry type. He's the hangry type. Why don't you eat something? And get out of the hot tub? No, I must continue to soak. I, you could ask someone to get you something to eat. Like who? There's nobody here. I, I'm here. Don't do this for him. You don't need to do this. Right. There I go being rude again. If you happen to find food, I would love to have some. In the meantime, I would like to apologize for being so rude. Please take one money as an apology. One money? Oh, chat. One whole money. That's the good good. We just got one money out of that chat. So easy. It's so easy. Questions. I can't believe how many fucking things. I don't want to ask him about. I'm just give. I know. Did I even ask him about? It? I don't even think. There's so much to talk to this guy about. Where were you when the parade was destroyed? Well, I've been swimming all day in Naughty's hot tub, so I was super wrinkly. Yup. And it was hard for me to get inside the house because of my wrinkly hooves. Uh-huh. So I waited for about a half an hour for the wrinkles to de-wrinkle. Okay. And then I went inside to Naughty's house and snoozed on the couch all night. What time was that? All night. No, I mean, what time did you get back into Nadi's house? Before the parade was destroyed, it wasn't me. Probably wasn't me, I mean. Can't be sure. You never know what happens out here, you understand what I'm saying, frog cop? You never know. When you're out in the warlock woods and you've been soaking in the waters, sometimes you get a little crazy, you understand? You never know. But 90% probability that it wasn't me. Questions. Okay, I'm gonna give him these pies for money. He's gonna pay me. Hello, Victor. I have a pie for you. Detective, where did you find this pie? I found it on the ground. I found it. It was a trash on the ground. I found trash for you to eat. Sorry, Detective. You may have to speak up. These hot tub jets are mighty loud. I found this pie on the ground over there. Detective. I do not want to eat ground pie. I have made a mistake. I'd say maybe even two. Two mistakes? Yes. One mistake for giving me a dirty pie and another mistake for giving me a pie that does not belong to you. <gasps> That's right, detective. Though I am visiting from out of town, I know this is one of Mandy's pies. They are delicious. If you just happen to find it on the ground, it cannot be yours to give away, so I cannot accept. You're right, Victor. I have made two mistakes. I am sorry. And I am sorry. That's okay, detective, but I'll be watching you. You should return this pie to Mandy. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. I fucking never want to talk to this monster again. He knows me. He's like in my head, chat. I hate him. Very suspect. Motive. Hadn't eaten. Could have been jealous about the parade. Need something to eat. Notes. Such a rude individual. Perhaps only rude because of hunger, but maybe just rude in general. Doesn't live here, only visiting. I want to visit Pumpkin Vin. Smile. The notepad is a very good addition to the game chat. <sighs> Alright, where's, uh, let's talk to Mandy. Where's Mandy? Mandy? Which one's Mandy? Mandy, is this you? Are you Mandy? I think this is, no, this might be Susan. I think this is Susan. Mandy. 
Oh, no, there's this person. They have the pies right here. You're the detective, right? I'm Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Be careful where you step, detective. There's mess everywhere. I'm used to mess. Lucky you, I'm not. My shoes are brand new. I can't get them dirty. Why don't you change shoes? Detective, are you joking? I can't wear flats with this look. The proportions would be all wrong. Besides, these shoes are enchanted. Oh? I'm one of the few actual witches here in Warlock Woods. Most folks here are just fans of the spooky, which is fine and all, but it means a lot of the cleaning work will be mine to do. I should have never learned that tidying up spell. It shouldn't take too long for me to clean up this mess, but first I need to find all my pies. What happened to your pies? Same thing that happened everywhere. Someone thought it'd be funny to knock them all over. So annoying, I spent ages making the... Ah, I, I see. Well, do you mind if I ask you some questions? Tell me what you want to know. About your pies. Tell me about the pies. Do you need help finding your pies? Yes! Detective, seriously, I seriously need help. Straight up, I can't see anything right now. These glasses are so dark, it's unreal. I'm such a dingus. This town is literally cloaked in eternal night. Why did I think sunglasses would be a good idea? They weren't a good idea. However, I don't regret it. They make me look amazing. Uh, do you think I look amazing? Yep. Thanks, I do too. Worst purchase I've ever made in terms of practicality, but it brings this look to a whole new level. I might be a dingus, but I'm a very stylish dingus. What were we talking about? My outfit. No, before that. Pies! Right, you offered to help pick up my pies. I'm missing quite a few. You can bring them to me, I'd be happy to clean them all up and give you one as payment. Okay, sounds like fun. Neat. Thanks, detective. Tell me what you want to know. I have pies. I got them. Mandy. Detective. I found some of your pies. Wonderful. Now there's only two left to find. I think I have... I'm sorry. We're missing two more still? Where are these fucking pies at? Looks like I filled the whole plate. Mandy. Well, she needs help finding her five pies. Notes. Someone knocked her pies over, what a bummer. Schooled me about fashion, fair enough. Real witch spooky. I'm looking for two more pies. One's probably like over here, if I'm being realistic. You again. That bug. Everywhere I look, it's there. There's a pie. So I need one more. And then I'll be able to feed fucking, what's his name, Victor, and keep him from going like crazy. All right, keep an eye out for one more pie, chat. Maybe underneath, like, the deck? No, 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 no. I bet someone stole one. I bet if I look inside one of these houses, I'm gonna see a fucking pie. Sitting in there. Unattended. Or maybe it just said I had the wrong amount, because honestly, it would make sense that I have all I need. On lamp? Was there one on the lamp? Hang on. Lamp? Lamp? Yapple dapple? We get the lamp? Lamp? Lamp. Look at the light! Chat, the whole, ha the whole fucking place is lights! I need... Lamp. Lamp. The lamp. I just need to find the right lamp. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's a lost pie. We got it. Awesome. I don't like going and talking to more people until I finish the quest that I have, just because uh, this is probably a game that I could easily lose track of who needs what. So, it makes sense to get Victor's shit out of the way by handing in the pies. Tell me what you want to know. I gave you the pies. I found all of your pies. What? All of them? I think so. 
Yep, that looks like all of them. Wow. You must have searched far and wide. I searched the general vicinity, yes. Wow, we. Thanks, detective. As promised, here's one money. One more money? That's two money. I don't think you ever promised payment, but thank you anyways. You're welcome. Oh, and I'll give you a pie, too. They're delicious. I'm not very hungry, but you can hold on to it if you like. Nonsense! Take one and eat it later when you're hungry. Okay, sure, thanks. Thank you for finding my pies. I got a pie. Wow, chat. Now we pawn this off to Richard, or whatever the fuck his name is. Yo, it bothers me that those pies looked disgusting and this one looks like good, and they put that like on the table. Like those ones. Amazing Baker. I'm not done asking your questions though. Still have to figure out what their deal is. About last night. Where were you, Mandy? Where were you last night? Doing heaps of push-ups and getting ripped? Just kidding. Ha <laughs> ha. I was on whizbay.net, where magic happens trademarked. What were you doing? Bidding on some new shoes. But you just got these ones. Yeah. But the new one, but the ones I was bidding on would go super well with this blue dress I have. Wow, cool. I know. I didn't win, though. Who got the shoes? Not sure. All I know is their screen name. Someone called Dizzy Wizzy 109. Sorry to hear it. How did you feel when you lost? A bit defeated. I went for a midnight stroll to cool off. But then, ah, I, I saw someone in the distance. It was pretty foggy that night, so I couldn't see much, but they were carrying a large box. I couldn't see what they looked like, but they definitely weren't from here. It felt like they were waiting for someone. I didn't think too much of it and went home. Hmm. Did you hear any noise after that? No, my house is soundproof. Ever since Mary has taken up singing, it's kind of a necessity around here. Only saw the mess in the morning. Interesting. Tell me what you want to know. No, that's it. You have a soundproof room. Very spooky. Very weird. But whatever. Motive. Upset about not winning the shoes, perhaps. Took it out on the parade. No, I don't think that's anything... I don't think that's anything too strange, Chet. I've been upset about many things, and I haven't thought about taking it out on my local parades. More than once. Question. Give him the pie. Just give him the pie. Get this guy. You're like, I never want to have to talk to Victor again. Are you still hungry? Yes, very. It's making me really rude. For example, I think your jumper is outdated. Ah! I'm hit. I'm going down. Ah! What's your fucking problem? Victor, I'm not the most fashionable frog in the world, but I think, but I like this jumper. It's my favorite. You're right. It's retro, not outdated. It's simply... I'm simply very hungry. I have a pie for you from Mandy. It's not from the ground. Nope. Mandy gave me a fresh one. Seriously, score! Yep, please enjoy it. Oh my gosh, that was amazing, and I feel much less rude now. Really? Yep. You have beautiful eyes. Oh wow, thank you. It's true. I think that color jumper suits you perfectly. Yeah, stop it, you're making me blush. I should give you something in return for this pie. Hmm, I have a spare party hat I'm not using. Maybe you could wear it. Alas. Alas, Victor. My head is simply too weird a shape for a hat like that. <laughs> well, hold on to it anyway. It might come in handy. Thanks. Got a party hat for my weird head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's a party hat. Check. Done. What did, uh, what did Mandy want? I totally forgot what that fucking... Not Mandy. Naughty. Needs a rug? Where am I gonna find a rug? Unless I stole this one. I don't know about that, though. Who's this guy? Carlos. A customer! Welcome to Carlos's All Things You Could Need Shop. Are you Carlos? Yes, just like the name of the shop, that's me. Ha, how cool is that? The shop has my name in it. So cool. 
My company also has my name in it. What's your company called? Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. What? What's your name then? Crime? Oh no, I'm the Frog Detective. That's not really a, a name though. More, that's a title. Oh. You right? My shop actually has my name in it. Cool, I'm jealous. Thanks. Here in Warlock Woods, we are all our own biggest fans. Being conceited is a societal construct. Everyone buckle in. We're going down another... We're going down a deep... We're going down a rabbit hole of some sort. I can feel it. Oh, we're reaching the top of the roller coaster. Oh, we're cresting. We have rejected it. Oh, they've rejected it. Never mind. Hence why my shop is so popular. I sell portraits, among other things. Wow, that's great. My office neighbor, Lobster Cop, has a picture of himself right above his desk. Uh -huh. You tell me you know Lobster Cop? Yeah? Holy heck! I've been a fan forever! You know he solved the mystery of the haunted island recently. Uh oh, uh, I don't... I don't think... Well... Uh... Actually, that was me who solved that one. Wait, really? It was all over TV? The dance competition had a lobster in it. Levy! I knew I should have pushed him into the bomb when I threw it at the cave. I thought about it too, chat. When he threw the fucking dynamite, I thought about hucking him near it too. Taking out two birds with one stone. He knew how to make a bomb out of pasta. He was a criminal. He should have perished. Oh, you must be thinking of Larry. You you mean you mean small Larry? No, this was a regular sized lobster. Uh no. Larry is a regular sized lobster. Not the Larry I know. Oh well. Agree to disagree. It was definitely Lobster Cop that solved the island mystery. I really did solve that mystery. It was me, the detective. Mmm. Yeah, that's cool. Thanks. So you're like, the second best detective, I suppose? Yeah. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Okay. What would you like to know? I don't like this guy. I don't very much like Carlos at all. Where were you last night? Just here, in my shop. What about when you closed up? Close? My shop doesn't close. It's 24 hours. What if someone needs a portrait of themselves at 4 a.m.? You're open all the time? Sure am. Of course, I sleep and eat and look after myself. My customers simply wake me up if they need to buy anything. Where do you sleep? I sleep standing up. Years of training. I'm the most committed shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. Also, the only shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. Do you ever take breaks? Nah, sometimes, but I really like it here in my shop. It's where I feel most at home. The extreme shopkeeper lifestyle isn't for everyone, but I take so much joy in my work. Me too. Although I must request that you look after yourself and close the shop if you need to take a break. Okay, I promise. Anyways, did you see anything last night? Nothing particularly interesting. Why? Why? Uh... <laughs> The crime. What do you mean, why? What do you mean, you don't... The, the, the crime? Huh? Hmm. I think I need to question you more now. Yeah, go for it. What would you like to know? The perfect witness missed it. The guy who's, a, like, working all day outside misses it. He missed the whole crime. What do you know about the new wizard that just moved in? Uh, who? The invisible wizard that moved in literally next door. Wait, really? Someone moved in. Is he blind and deaf? Yeah. That place has been empty for ages. I gotta say hi. Well, the parade was meant to be for saying hi. Parade? <laughs> 
fucking guy is giving me the run around. He totally did the crime chat. I know it was him. I'm almost completely positive it was him at this point. Carlos did it. He did it. He had to have done it. He's playing it so cool, but I know. Dude, imagine if you did a crime and you act, you didn't just act dumb. You didn't play dumb. You played brain dead. Did you did what did what were you doing on the night of the murder? The murder? The night of the murder. The murder? I don't know what you mean. Parade. The parade that everyone has been prepping for. Wow, how nice. Can't wait. It was destroyed last night. What? <laughs> this conversation is a roller coaster of information. I have literally no idea what's happening. You weren't involved in the decoration at all. No. Should I offer to help now? Wait, who's the parade for again? Is it for me? No, it's for the invisible wizard. She just moved in next door. Right, okay. Uh. Oh dear. The party hats. Pardon? Every time we throw a parade, everyone has party hats to wear. Mine was ruined at the last parade. I've been too busy working in my shop to buy a new one. Oh no! How embarrassing. I can't show up to the parade without one. Do you think it's too late to order one online? It'll be tight. You're right. Ah, what should I do? Don't stress, I'll track one down for you before the parade starts. Oh my gosh, thank you, detective. In the meantime, I'll figure out a way to repay you. Unfortunately, I don't have any frog portraits just yet. Not a problem. What would you like to know? I have a party hat already. Dude, once again, I do this all in perfect order without even realizing it. Carlos, I have something for you. No way! It's a party hat. No way! Yes way! That's epic! That's honestly the most epic thing I've heard all day. Thanks, detective. Not a problem. Incorrect! It was a problem. And you solved it. Just like a true detective. Ah, thanks. You've made a fan out of me. Here, let me repay you for your work. Oh no, that's okay. Detective? I insist you take payment. One money should do it. Guys, I'm making so much money in this one. I'm, so, I'm like rich. I got five monies now. Thanks. Oh, and I also found this rug out back. Not sure what it is. Uh, but I figure you're good at solving these types of puzzles. Got a rug. And chat, that goes to the mayor. And we've been doing this game in perfect order yet again. I'll find a use for it, thanks. Best of luck solving the mystery, detective. All right. Three monies. And one rug. And I'm gonna have to make some- Oh, here we go. Here, let's get Carlos written in here. Carlos. Motive. Could be worried the wizard doesn't shop locally. I uh, see. Needs a party hat. Done. Already checked. That's a good worry. That is a good motive. Notes. Busy boy. Works really hard. Didn't know anything had happened. Seems stressed about the parade. Oh no. I don't have a hat either for the parade. I could probably borrow one. It's fine. Am I even invited to the parade? Oh no. Am I invited to the parade chat? Either way chat. Pretty much convinced everyone did it. At this point, almost completely positive that 90% of this town is guilty of something or other. Well, let's get this rug put up, I guess, before we talk to uh, Metal Gear Lion, uh, Weird Cat, and Rhino Girl. Tell me what you want to know. Give item rug. Great news! What is it? I found you a rug! What? Holy guacamole! This is great news! Thank you for tracking it down for me! This should do the trick! Wow! Looks just like new! Hopefully the band won't notice the mess. I don't think they will. They're in a fish tank anyway. Wait, why? One guess. There. Fish? Bingo! Wait, do you mean to tell me you got the most famous band of all time? The Market Buddies? Yep. They're on their way. Wow! I saw them live once and I was blown away. I can't- I, I think that was our first picture. Was the Market Buddies. Remember the crab? I'm excited too. I can't wait for the parade to begin. I better get back to work so I can solve the mystery before the parade starts. Before you go, I should give you something in return. Oh. 
I have some building supplies left over from when I made the stage. Is that enough? Sure, thank you. Thanks for giving me your trash, ma'am. Plus one money. Oh no, that's okay. I, I, I was, it, it was simply a favor. Don't be silly. You worked hard to get me this rug. I insist. Wow, thanks. Got one money. That's four monies. That's four whole monies now, chat. Four monies. And one building stuff. Let's go talk to Metal Gear Lion. Oh, my voice is not going to be able to do this. Ugh. Long snoot. All right. Hey. Hello, little frog. I'm Ralph. Why are you yelling? I'm just making sure you can hear me. I can hear you. You don't have to yell. You're very small! And it might be difficult for you to hear! I'm small, but I'm also very close to you. Being small isn't the same as being far away. Are you sure? You can hear me at this volume. Yeah. Weird. I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the mystery. Really? Yeah. But you're so small. I'm of average frog height. <sighs> Can I ask you some questions about the case? Questioning me, huh? About the wizard. Let's talk. Let's ask him about the wizard. How do you feel about the wizard moving in? Hmm. It's nothing. I, I, it's nothing against the wizard, but. I've been living with my friend, Carlos, for a while, and our space is big, but I would really like my own home. Oh. I'd been eyeing off that old house for ages. I thought maybe I'd move in one day, but the wizard got here first. I see. It's my fault, I guess. Shouldn't hold it against the wizard. Hmm. This house is twice as big as all the other houses. Maybe... You could renovate it and turn it into two houses. You could split it down the middle. Or have one house upstairs and one downstairs, like an apartment. That's a pretty cool idea. I like Carlos and everything, but I'm a private boy. I understand. I don't have any renovation supplies, though. Hmm. I'll see if I can track some down for you. Thanks for your help, detective. Maybe if I do a good job, I'll get my own building show. I'm excited to see it. Questioning me, huh? I like how I keep on perfectly getting exactly what I need in order. I mean, chat, you gotta be honest. I'm a natural detective. I have perfectly selected exactly who I need to talk to every single time. In order! Meaning this guy's gonna give me something to give to either the rhino girl or the cat person. One or the other. That's a level die move. I'm a level die detective. Let's give him the building supplies. Do it right now. Hi, Ralph. Hello, small frog. I managed to track down some building supplies. Oh, great. What exciting news. I'd love to use them if you're okay with handing them over. Of course. I thought that bug was about to get us, dude. I thought that spider was about to get us. Like I saw him walking by. Excellent, thank you so much. Of course, I must pay you for this. Oh, there's no need, really. Shh, I won't hear it. Please take a money. One more money, that's five monies. Thank you. Also, I think you've earned yourself the title of honorary pirate. Really, me a pirate? Yes, you have the treasure collecting skills of the finest pirate. Oh, this was a pirate all along. Yes. For this I must award ye a special prize. This halt, here, take this hook. <laughs> Wow, what do I do with this? You can use it on your hand if you want, or you can use it for something else. I'm not your dad. Not yet. <laughs> Weird. Weird one, frog detective. <laughs> Sorry, I don't really know why I said that. Oh, good. Enjoy the hook. I should ask him about his eye. Five monies and one hook. 
Admiral. There's a picture of Ralph. Needs building supplies. Check. Notes. Wants to renovate. Thinks I am too small. I am not. We're not done with Ralph. Questioning me, huh? I don't do pirate voice very well, so I'm just gonna keep on doing, like, Snake. May I ask why you have an eye patch on? That's Ralph's business. Oh. It'd be really good for me to know why you have an eye patch. Sometimes a boy just wants to wear an eye patch. That shouldn't make me suspicious. You put it on for fashion? Kind of. Detective, I don't want to get into this too much, but I watched a movie last night about pirates, and I loved it. And there's another three left. Three whole movies. Can you believe it? Sequels? I've never heard of a movie having a sequel before. I know, right? Usually, sequels are reserved for video games. Yes, it's extremely normal to have a video game sequel, especially for games with large audiences like Toad Investigation series. Yeah. Anyways, I was watching a pirate movie last night. That, that's where I was. And for that reason, I decided to wear an eye patch. Okay. I'll leave it at that. My thanks. Questioning me, huh? No, we're done. We're done, Ralph. Ralph is the only person officially that doesn't have any reason to have done the crime. Motive. In true pirate fashion, wanted to cause a ruckus? <gasps> a private boy. Eye patches cosmetic only. Dude, I gotta add that to the list. Now I don't fucking under- Now I can't- I can't just let him- Gotta add him. Suspicious. Could be wanting- Could be pretending to be a pirate. And causing a ruckus in true pirate fashion, dude. So where'd the renovation go? Eh, whatever. Dude, it's like, I can't even tell which one is the real Ralph. Cause this is the exact, he took a fucking picture of his exact front door. Like right here. Like this is the same plant, same window. It's the same thing. So weird. Hey. Susan. Oh my stars! It's you! This is gonna be an old- this is a very, very old, old, old cat. It's me! The famous lobster cop! I really thought you'd be a lobster. Uh, no, I'm a frog. Yeah. You sure are, Sonny. Why is your name Lobster Cop? I have to tell you something. I'm not Lobster Cop. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you deceive me? I... I don't know how to answer that. Who are you? I'm the detective. A uh, frog detective. I see. Was Lobster Cop not available? Unfortunately not. Well, I think you'll do just fine. Thanks. I'm Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi. I'm the one that contacted the agency, which I think you'll find excludes me from being a suspect. Oh, I didn't know that was how it worked. You should know these things, detective. I'm sorry. It's okay. I think you should still question me, though, to remove all doubt. Chat, I'm at maximum doubt. Like, I might, Mike, I am at maximum full on, like, full tilt doubt right now on this one. Okay. Question me all you'd like. Let's talk about the wizard. Do you know about the wizard personally? Nobody knows her personally. Well, not here at least. Not me. Right. 
But I had a lot to do with the organization of the parade. Yes. And I was the one to start the investigation. You mentioned that. It's worth bringing up again. So you are fine with her moving into town? Absolutely. That old house has been empty for years, and it's really nice. Someone wants to live there. It needs a lot of fixing up, but it'll look nice soon, I think. Plus, it's always exciting to have a new neighbor. Service. I put up a sign I made for the wizard, but it got knocked down last night. I'm feeling pretty sad about it, if I'm honest. I know you're here to solve the mystery, but I just need to tell someone how I feel. You can talk to me about it. Thank you. I'm not a professional sign maker yet, but I worked really hard on this sign. Really, I, I struggle to understand why someone would knock it down. It feels so heartless, and now I'm not sure who to trust. I thought everyone here would be thrilled to have a new neighbor. It's a tricky situation, that's for sure. Some people are protective of their communities and think new people are going to change things for the worst, but that's almost never the case. New people make places better because they bring new perspectives, especially in small communities. Hopefully it's just a misunderstanding or a mistake. Like to believe people are good. I like to believe people are good. <laughs> like a mistake. Like to believe people are good. People are all innately evil, chat. Remember that. All of us are demons on the inside. Only after one thing, the almighty dollar. I like to believe people are good. That being said, I'm treating everyone as a suspect. But not me, right? Even you, especially you. <laughs> especially me. Oh, no, no. Sorry, not sure why I said it like that. But you're not off the hook just yet. Hook. <laughs> she wants the hook. All right, chat, I've done it in perfect order again. I'm so good at this. She wants the hook. That's it. Detective, could you please find me a hook? I could hang the sign back up with it. Oh, okay. I'll do my best. Question me all you like. I'd like to talk about last night. What were you up to? What were you, uh, what were you, where, where, where were you on the night in question? I was at home knitting a jumper for the wizard. Really? Yeah, I picked all the colors myself and everything. Though I'll admit it's a bit hard to focus on knitting. Why's that? I get so distracted by the wool. It's so fun to play with. I play with it so much that I unravel the whole thing and it goes everywhere. It's a big nuisance. Cat jokes, chat. I love cat jokes. I understand. But... I was concentrating on the knitting so much that I didn't notice the destruction of the parade outside. I'm sorry. Did you notice anything at all? Uh, now that I think about it, I saw a big van out near the entrance to Warlock Woods. It didn't drive in or I would have heard it. I didn't worry about it at the time, of course. That's all I remember. Sorry. No worries. Question me all you like. Give him the hook. Just give him the hook. Get this. I gotta stop talking in old lady voice. It's killing me. I'm back. You're back. Yup. I found you a hook. Oh, my stars. Thank you. I can fix my sign right away. You, we have channel points. Did the... Well, Twitch automatically enabled channel points for me if it enabled them. Sorry, chat. Uh, that's not on me. Not like I really care in either direction, but that's an automatic Twitch thing. They decided it for me. I don't have them. I don't have them on mine either, which is the weirdest thing, is that it doesn't even display for me. What's you about it? I don't know. Some people, it does clutter up the chat a little bit more, but I guess it's, I guess it's global now or something maybe. 
Because I, I would I would assume if it's on mine and I didn't opt into anything, that means it's a forced thing now. Which is fine. I don't mind it. You monster! You're ruining my Twitch chat! Thank you. I can fix my sign right away. Dude, you know what's really funny, though? It says you guys are redeeming highlight messages, but they don't highlight for me. So you're actually being scammed. Because I can promise you one thing. They aren't highlighting. So, oopsie daisy, you've been scammed by me, I guess. It highlights for us. Yuck. <laughs> Thank you. I can fix my sign right away. That's okay. Welcome. Look at that. She made that. I would like to repay you for this hook money. Give me money. No, that's okay. I got it for free. Nothing is free in this world. Nothing, Sonny. Nothing. Just kidding. Our society is really progressive and often things are actually free. Okay. As a sign of my gratitude, please feel free to use my house whenever you want. Oh my god, great. <laughs> Take it easy now, right? It's fairly simple, but beautifully decorated at la at least. I have a phone, too. Great, I'll be sure to use it at some point. Thank you, Susan. All right. Fucking gonna discover some real, real leads in this one. Let's get Susan written down here. Susan, motive. Maybe she didn't like her sign destroyed and destroyed the parade out of embarrassment. That's a pretty big reach. <laughs> Insists she is not suspicious. This makes her much more suspicious than she realizes. Upset about the parade being destroyed, worked really hard on her sign, saw a van near the entrance. Check. I can't even rest in this bed. There is a phone. Hmm, who should I call? Well, I don't feel good. But good news is we're down to our last person we gotta talk to. La. Oh, la, la, la. Hello? Hello, frog. Hello, what's your name? I'm Mary. Nice to meet you. You too. Did you like my song? This is how Mary talks. Mm, yep. I've been practicing all day and all night. Oh, are you okay? I'm tired. Ha, huh. maybe you should get some sleep. Maybe. You sing very loudly. Yep. I'm like everyone soundproofed their houses. Oh, <laughs> that sounds expensive. Yeah, but that's not really my problem. I think I sound very good even late at night. How late? I love to sing at 3 a.m. Wow. That's when my energy is at its highest. That doesn't sound very healthy. My health is my business, frog. Oh, yes, that's, that's true. Sorry. That's okay. Maybe I should listen to some soft sounds before bed. Uh, welcome to my hair salon. Snip, snip. That'll be 100 money. I don't have any hair or any money. That's okay, you can pay me back later. So they want to do ASMR now? That sounds even worse. Just joking. Anyway, who are you? I'm the detective. Oh, cool. Can you question me? Do you mind if I ask? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh boy, I love questions. Let's talk about the wizard. What do you know about the wizard that moved in? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry. I didn't actually hear you. Ah, I was asking about the wizard. Oh, yeah. There's a wizard. Just she just moved in. Why? I'm a detective. Right. This is part of the questioning, right? Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, so I didn't do any crimes or anything. And I have the right to remain silent. I... Yeah, but do you want to remain silent? <laughs> Literally never. So, like, I heard that Ralph was super weird about the new wizard moving in. Also, I heard that Mandy was in a bad mood the night of the parade was destroyed. And I heard that Naughty, like, attacked the wizard one time. And that's all, actually. Does this make me a snitch? I think so, yeah. Red. Oh, boy, I love questions, so I love them. Let's talk about last night. What were you doing when the night was just when the parade was destroyed? Oh, boy, yeah. Sucks that the parade was destroyed. Oh, we're doing questioning. What was I doing? Not much, uh, just sitting outside. You were outside when the parade was destroyed. Yep. Did you see anything? Yeah. I... What did you see? Detective. Have you heard of extortion? I... Yeah. That's great news. Is it? Detective, I would like to extort you. Okay. I... <laughs> 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 yeah. I don't think that's legal. I am above the law. Oh, why are you extorting me? I would like five money for a train ticket. I don't have any money. Well, you best get some soon. What do you need a train ticket for? I want to go to Froggywood and become a star. Oh, that sounds exciting. I know, right? Sorry about the extortion thing, but I don't really have any other ways to get there. I figure if you get the money for me, I can finally go live my dreams. <laughs> what will you give me in exchange? Information. What kind of information? A phone number. Ah. Who am I calling? I can't tell you that. All I can say is that they were in the vicinity when the parade was destroyed. I don't think you'll be able to solve the case without this number. Hence the extortion. Sorry. It's okay. We all get extorted every now and then. Yeah. Anyway, come back to me when you have my money. Oh boy, I love questions. I have your money. Bada bing chat. Perfectly executed frog detective gameplay. Not one chore I had to do because I did them all beforehand, chat. The perfect level die detective deducer gamer. Hi, Mary. Hey, detective. How's the extortion going? I think I've got your five money. Whoa, for real? I didn't think the extortion would work so quickly. That's excellent news. I'm really good at being extorted. I'll say. Anyway, do you have the information for me? Totally. Last night, I saw the postman drop off a parcel. It was around the time the parade got destroyed. I couldn't see who he was giving it to, but it was someone here in town. Barney's the postman's name. He's a chill dude. I don't think he'd mind if you called him up. I have his number. May I have it? Absolutely. Got a phone number. Thanks for giving me this money. I'm really excited to visit Froggywood. I'm excited for you. Obviously, I have to wait until the parade is over. Of course. See you around, detective. I can't believe I was extorted. That's, uh, that's them going to jail again, I think. I think that's, uh, I'm adding that person to the suspicious list. Mary. Motive. Perhaps the wizard is a better singer than her. Very good motive. Needs five money, check. Notes. Sings really loudly all the time. Everyone soundproof of their houses, wants to be a big star, is extorting me. I've never been extorted before. What a thrill. Does he have a phone? Of course I have a phone. I'm going to break into this woman's house again. Old granny cat person, let me. Let's get that call. Hmm, who should I call? Mysterious number. Let's do it. This is not safe. 
attention. Do not pick up. Oh my god. Hey, it's Barney. I have you on speaker. Hi, Barney. Hi. Who am I talking to? Uh, Lobster Cop. Uh oh. Chat, this is just me, like, this is just sad now. Wow, really? No, I was tricking you. Rats. Bummer. Who is this, Noodle? I'm the detective. I'm calling you about an incident that happened last night at Warlock Woods. I didn't do it, man. Do what? Whatever you're calling about wasn't me. Are you sure? What did I do? Last night, someone destroyed a parade which was being set up for the new resident of the town, an invisible wizard. I was told you were in the area when it happened. Oh, yeah, I was there. I was, yeah. Didn't destroy anything, if that's what you're asking. I was just delivering a parcel. Who are you delivering it to? Uh, mm, what was her name? Oh, Lola. Huh? I don't think there's anyone in town called Lola. Must have been someone who lives there. The address was on the parcel. I can't remember exactly which house it was. Sorry. Nah, do you remember where the parcel was sent from? Oh, yeah. I deliver a lot of parcels from them. It was from the whizbay.net headquarters. That sounds really familiar. Where have I heard that name before? Uh, I know Mandy buys a lot of stuff from there. But this wasn't for her. You know what was in the package? Some sort of shoe, I think. Maybe two... <sighs> so it all comes together. A pair of shoes. Did you get a good look at them? It was pretty dark. I have no recollection of really seeing anyone. Not even a face. <sighs> ha, weird. Warlock Woods is pretty dark, but I haven't had much trouble seeing anyone before. Me neither. Wasn't much more dark than normal, either. All I remember is a blue dress with stars on it. I'm pretty stumped on this case, Barney. Do you know if there are any clues left behind? A signature on the delivery slip or something? Uh, I didn't get them to sign it, but I remember something dropping over at the entrance to the woods. I tried to call out and tell them, but they'd stumbled off before I noticed. At the entrance of the woods, you say? I'll check it out. Well, 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 Lola. Guess I know your name now. Motive. Accidentally crashed his van into the decorations. Drove off well, Drove off without realizing. Notes. Cool guy. Didn't see who he was delivering to. Lola. Responsible driver. Had me on speaker. Very good. I should search near the entrance of the woods. Okay. Glasses. This must be the thing Barney was talking about. Hmm. The glasses. Got some glasses. Oh, they have a name engraved on the arm. The Invisible Wizard. Well, this is my only clue left. I think I should try to return these to the wizard. She should be in the old house near Carlos's shop. Got your glasses, you son of a bitch. So it was either the wizard or it was... Or it was the mayor. The mayor attacked the wizard with a vacuum earlier. So honestly, that checks out. Lola, Lola. Hello, is anyone home? I found these glasses. Huh? House looked a lot, uh, looked a lot smaller on the outside. Huh? There's pies everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? A broom. Well, let's have a word with the wizard. Maybe. Maybe they're still nearby. I see them now. Warping around. Causing a ruckus. 
Lola, time's up. You. you can't keep getting away with it. You only got a few more places to hide now. Hey. Crap. It was you, huh? Yeah, this mystery's pretty much cracked wide open, chat. Do it one more time, I swear to God. Lola? What is this place? I'm a frog cop here to solve a crime. Oh, that is hellish. Ah! Where'd they get a picture of me? Ah! We gotta stop this now! Who's there? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the detective. Oh, thank goodness. You're here to solve the mystery. Yep. Okay. Well, I don't know where my glasses are. Just so solve this as soon as possible, please. Thanks in advance. <clears throat> I found your glasses, I think. Are these yours? Ah, oh, I can see again. That was so quick, you should get a promotion. I don't remember calling a detective to solve this mystery, but I must have done. Otherwise, why would you be here, right? Ha ha. Ha ha. Yeah. Well, no. I'm actually here to solve a different mystery. Which one? I don't mean to ruin the surprise, but the town was setting up a parade for you. I'm sorry to tell you that last night someone destroyed it. I've been trying to figure out why. However... I've noticed that your house is littered with decorations. Well, well, well. Let's see how you get out of this one, invisible wizard. Where were you last night? I was on Whiz Bay. I got some new shoes. I picked express delivery. They arrived last night. Oh, you're Lola. Yeah. Back to my alibi. I went to pick up my shoes from the delivery guy. And then I dropped my glasses. Oh. And that's all I have to say about that. Are you sure? Yeah, I think someone else must have destroyed the parade. Perhaps one of my enemies... You have enemies? Uh, yeah. Who? Yeah. <laughs> the, the guy. The guy. The guy. Uh, evil. E the evil guy. Sorry, what? Enemy. Evil guy. My enemy. My enemy. Evil guy. Yeah. Are you making this up? No, evil dude is really my enemy. Don't you mean evil guy? Evil guy. Your enemy. Yes. Where can I contact evil guy? Oh, he's not able to be contacted. He's very mysterious and is not available right now. Or ever, even. Anyway, he must have destroyed the parade. Case solved, we did it. Well done, wow. Too bad he's not able to be apprehended, but at least we can continue with our lives. Lola, are you being dishonest? Yes. I'm really sorry, it was me! It was an accident, I swear! You destroyed the parade, didn't you? Ah! I didn't know the parade was for me! That's so nice! And I ruined it! When I dropped my glasses, I couldn't find my way home! I was bumping into everything! What happened when you got home? I had some chips stuck to me, so I ate those, and then I hid. Why didn't you just tell everyone what happened? I'm so embarrassed about it. 
I only just moved in and already I've made a big mistake. I'm a very shy lady, detective. I make myself invisible so nobody can see me. That must have been why nobody saw you last night. Yes, I suppose. That would also imply that you went out naked last night. Which would uh, be another... F That's like pretty fucked up as well. And I can, I'm going to add that to the list of things that I got to charge you for at the end of all this, honestly. Can you become not invisible, uninvisible, visible? If you insist. Ah! Taga! You're a frog! Like me! Yes. I'm slightly disappointed. I. Well, it's just that I had a good joke prepared. I I'll do it anyways. Okay, so imagine that instead of a frog, you were revealed to be a lizard. Oh, no. Okay, so you've just been revealed, okay? Pretend. Okay, it's me, a lizard. Wow! So you're not an invisible wizard after all! You're an invisible lizard! Hat. Yeah, it was a good joke. I thought so. Detective, are, are you gonna tell anyone? Mm, I'm brand new and it was a mistake. I'm worried that if you tell everyone what I did, they'll be upset. I think they'd forgive you right away. But what if they don't? I want to make a good first impression. When we go outside, can you please tell them that it was evil guy? But that's a fib. Chat, they said the fib. <laughs> You're telling me to lie, chat. I, I, I don't know if I can do that for you, Lola. You, you bitch. I don't know if I can do that. All right? Don't ever ask someone to lie. All right? That's the rule. Fibbing's a sin, all right? A white lie, perhaps. But who's it harming, really? Evil guy! Evil guy isn't real. This is a moral dilemma, Lola. If evil guy is real, he'll never be able to get a job in this town, Lola. Just like in my favorite episode of Point Rock. It's your choice, detective. Let's face the music. Good fucking picture. Lost her glasses. Totally did the crime. No real motive but the culprit. Needs glasses. Gun. Notes. Shy lady. A frog. Just moved in. Made a big mistake. Lied about having a nemesis called Evil Guy. Wants me to tell town it was Evil Guy. Spoiler chat, I'm definitely not telling the town it was evil guy. That's wrong. I'm a detective, not a fucking liar. Hi. Everyone says hi. I, I'm not replicating that. My name is Lola. Everyone says hi, Lola. I'm a frog. Just like me. We're so glad you could make it, Lola. I'm sorry that there's been so much commotion trying to get the parade ready for you. Somebody destroyed it last night. Mary, don't tell her that. We're sorry that somebody destroyed it, Lola. The detective has been trying to figure out who did it. Well, detective, have you solved the mystery? I hope it wasn't me. I don't even remember what the fuck Carlos even sounds like. I'd be surprised if it was any of us. Oh yeah, it's because he talked normal. He was the only normal person in the entire fucking village. I wouldn't look at you, Rav. What the fuck? What? What? <laughs> Ralph didn't do it, Victor. How many times do we have to tell you? I just don't trust that guy. Rude. I'm not rude anymore, Ralph. I had food. I don't think that's how it works. I didn't do it. Well, I guess we'll find out in a moment. It's so hard to jump between voices in those two. <laughs> Go ahead, detective.
It, it was Lola, dude. I can't fucking ruin evil guy's thing. And like, if I was to... Dude, it, I'm a detective. I, it's not my job to detect and then lie, you know? I have to tell the truth. It was Lola. Lola did it. Well, I solved the mystery. Who was it? Says everyone. It was... Lola. What? It was an accident. Lola dropped her glasses last night while picking up some shoes she bought on Whizbay. Oh my gosh. Those are the ones I really wanted. That bitch! They looked amazing! Lola can't see without her glasses, so she had a lot of trouble getting home last night. She bumped into just about everything. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I feel awful, everyone. I realized what happened when I was lo when I had lots of chips stuck to me. I ate them. They were delicious. The parade was for me all along. I didn't even realize. Lola was very scared of your reactions, so she hid in her house out of shame. She was also afraid of the mayor, who tried to put her in a vacuum. Oh, Lola, it's okay. You should have told us. We completely understand. Yeah. Mary destroys stuff all the time. Yeah, I really do. Plus, Naughty tried to vacuum you up, so I feel like the parade being destroyed is kind of fine. I thought she was a ghost. That's what they all say. Haha. -ha. We're all really excited you're here, Lola. We don't need decorations anyway. I really thought Ralph did it. Victor. Victor apologized to Ralph. Ralph, I I'm sorry I accused you. It's okay. I'm also sorry. I really didn't mean to destroy the parade, but I, I should have spoken up when I did. I'm a very nervous lady. Plus, what a terrible first impression. Who the fuck is this? Oh, the, not as bad as my first impression. Oh my god, Barney's here. Barney came in out of nowhere. What did you do? I ran over Mary by accident. Oh uh, yeah, he sure did. That was really painful. Ha! <laughs> We should we get this party started? What do you think, Lola? Yes, please. Oh my god, Chad, the party. It's begun. Oh, it's him! Hey, Chad, we did it again! Another crime! Solved! And once again, no perp, nothing. Technically, we're solving non-crimes. While the monster cop solves real actual crimes and gets paid for it, I get sent to do no crime solving, ever. I never get a real job. I've never gotten one real one. Ever, not one. And then Lobster Cop takes all the credit anyways. I just get to watch these guys like dance for a minute. Oh my god, that's me! I'm wearing a hat chat! Wow. What the fuck was this game? A very good game. Two good games in a row. I'll probably do the next two episodes whenever they come out. In a bundle again. Sometime in the next year. A little bit later. How much was this? Like six dollars for both. I think. Very cheap. Wow, look at that picture of all of us dancing and having fun. Now I've seen this fucking band twice now. That's me having fun with the band last time in Fish Zone. Oh, hang on, I'm getting a call. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I solve your mystery? Detective! Supervisor! It's me, the supervisor! I, I know. Great job on solving the invisible wizard mystery. That was quite a head scratcher. Sure was. I was shocked that the culprit was the wizard herself. 
Yeah, the mystery I solve the mysteries I solve are never what they seem. It's always a misunderstanding or an accident. Nobody is ever malicious on purpose in my mysteries. I'm so glad that crime isn't real. <laughs> I'm so glad that crime is made up. Didn't you get extorted earlier? Yes. I think that's a crime. I suppose crime is real after all. Your office is called Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Yes. Detective, why do you believe that crime isn't real? I, I, uh, I was just an exaggeration. Plus, despite my job title, I never really seem to be solving crimes. That's going to change in a moment, I think, Detective. Oh, super duper! I got a call about a doozy of a case, Detective. That sounds exciting. It is, but it's also the most challenging case I've ever sent you on. I'm confident in your abilities, but you might need backup on this one. Oh, like who? I'm going to send Lobster Cop to help you with this case. <laughs> really? Lobster Cop handles such advanced cases I won't just slow him down? Nonsense, Detective. You've shown you're a very capable mystery solver. I think you're in the running to be the new number one. You're making me blush, Supervisor. You'll be A-OK. -okay. So where am I headed next? I, I can't say over the phone. It's too sensitive. Wow. Head over to the train station. I've left a ticket for you there. The train will take you to where you need to be. Good luck, Detective. You think you can handle it? I can handle anything. Wow. Chat. In the next installment of Frog Detective. After the- wait, there's more! After the detective is left! <laughs> Gang, I recognize that fucking hand. That was that creep on the first island that was looking at me. That must be him. That must be evil guy. So worm uh, pilots the train, huh? Where would one know? The detective will return in Cowboy County. Corruption, sorry, corruption at Cowboy County. Well, I'll be damned. Well, is it actually over this time so I can talk? It is, I think, I hope, I think. I gotta give it a, a chance to load. Well, playing that in a bundle of two games chat, very good. That was fun. I quite enjoyed it. Two very good games, and I think there's another two episodes on the way, is the plan, so. Not bad, not bad. Good games to watch, yeah, I mean, I just wanted a small, like, little story thing to do since I haven't done something like that in a little bit so thanks for joining me as I play two short games about a frog detective very simple hanging out telling a little story 
If you like detective games, there's Disco- Oh, I'm keenly aware about Disco Elysium chat. <laughs> we'll be doing that later this week. And that's- This was like the detective warm-up, alright? Because Disco Elysium is the true detective game. Disco is amazing. We'll be doing Disco Elysium day one, and this is how I planned it, alright? We will do Disco Elysium day one, and it's gonna be a one-off. Uh, unless something changes, and like everyone on the planet watches me play the first session and then says, play more tomato. Um, I will probably do a one-off of just day one. Uh, and then leave you guys to enjoy the rest on your own if you so choose. Maybe I'll put my character's save on like a file or something and like upload it to like Mega or something so that people can download it if they want. That might be what I end up doing for if people really care about continuing my direct character. That's probably what I'm planning. Unless I like just decide I really want to do more because after day one, it gets a little bit less goofy and a little bit more serious and a lot more read heavy, a lot more heavy on dialogue. So it's a little bit harder to imagine playing that for the 24 hour long duration of the game. Day one is a good stopping point. Someone just added someone else in my messages and said Outer Wilds was trash. I'm- I'm actually, like, fucking bothered that someone said that in my- in my chat. What's happening here? Come out! I saw you! I'm about to shame your opinion! Cause I've never seen one so wrong! Shame! 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 But yeah, that'll be tonight's uh, stream. It actually clocked out at four hours, pretty much, on the dot. Which, honestly, I was expecting this to be a three-hour stream. So, pretty good. We'll be back tomorrow at 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. EST, as always. Maybe even a little bit earlier, but it will be labeled as 3.30 to 4.30. I might start, like, I might be able to start early. We'll have to see. But uh, thanks for watching. This was, uh, this was a good one. People still get confused between Outer Wilds and Outer Worlds. Dude, Outer Worlds is an average game at best. And it bothers me that it uses the same naming conventions as Outer Wilds. And you want to know why Outer Wilds is named Outer Wilds, chat? I'm almost positive they had to rename to Outer Wilds. Because of Outer Worlds. I think there was some legal bullshit that happened and they had to rename their game to Outer Wilds. I think. I think there was something that made them have to rename their game. I'm not sure though. No, I don't think it. No, I think I'm. I think I'm mixing up. I don't think that's anything. I think I mixed up a different game. No, that, that didn't happen. That didn't happen. I, I'm spreading wrong information. That didn't happen. Uh, I'm remembering now. The alpha was named Outer Wilds as well. There was some other game. Oh yeah, no, I'm thinking of a different thing. I think that was Scrolls. It's many games. Uh, there was a game called Pray to the Gods that was originally called P R E Y. I played it once with a. I never actually properly played it on stream. But their game was called Prey for the Gods, and then they had to rename it to Gibberish for the Gods, uh, because Prey was coming out at the same time. Like, the remake. Prey stream? Prey's a good game, but if I was gonna play it, if I was gonna do a Prey stream, I'd do the classic again. Because that was a lot of fun to stream. That's probably what I'd stream. Would be like the, the original. Not the, not the new one. Even though the new one was good, don't get me wrong. The new one was a good game, too. Yeah, I'm gonna get through notifications though, and then I'm um, Audi. Uh, nice early wrap up today. Uh, longer stream tomorrow. I'm not sure what we're gonna be doing. Have you streamed Outer Worlds? No, but I've played it. I got to the like jungle planet, and then I said this game isn't for me anymore, and I turned it off. Would you suggest going into Disco completely blind? If you have the opportunity to, yes. I will also say though that watching me play the first day, and then you going and playing it yourself is not going to diminish the experience for you at all. The game, the way that the character builds work in the game, you will, it is so completely different. Even if you follow all the same dialogue options, it's completely different. And you'll understand why when I start to play it. Uh, it's like, it's, everyone has a unique experience when they play it pretty much. Let me find where I stopped. Mute radio, thank you for the six months. Thank you very much. Cryo, thank you for the sub. I crave serotonin. Thank you for the eight months prime. It's been eight months now. Apple Gaming. Only one month until the joke has to be said. But until then, I ask you to pause streaming while I get my taste of Chicago deep dish pizza. Oh.
Prime Nostravis, thank you for the 13 months. Roxard Cox from Streamer News here with Tomato. Tomato, there is only one question all the fans have for you. What do you say about all the reports of bodies in the pit you have in your basement? Well, Roxard Cox, it's, uh, it's not a pit in my basement. It's a pit right out there in my...